Hello friends, it's time, it's time to climb, welcome to Majama HQ, we're playing a little game called Celeste, and we're going to be sharing the knowledge that we've accumulated all about speedrunning, all about speedrunning. A lot of people probably have played this game casually, and uh, I recommend it. If you haven't, it's an extremely fun game to play casually. But if you've ever dreamed about speedrunning, if you've ever watched AGDQ or SGDQ and seen those guys just tear through a game and thought, man, that looks like fun. I want to do that. 
If only I had the right game. Well, I think Celeste just might be that game for you. Time to climb. Smoke Pigs is here. Palm Top Tiger in the house. What's up, Plam? Plam Top. Majama, I hardly know her. I watched the Tass run last night. Oh yeah, don't watch the Tass. Don't watch Tass. There's no point. I mean, it's neat to me. It's neat. It's kind of cool, but it's not, it's not anything any human could ever do. So it's, there's really nothing to be learned from it. Not much anyway. Uh, so what we're going to do tonight, guys, is we're talking about um, speed running, kind of basics for somebody maybe who's never speed run Celeste before, maybe somebody who's only played casually. We're going to go through some advanced mechanics. Uh, there's wave dash, neutral jump, hyper dash, wall bounce, uh, ultra dash, uh, demo dash. We're going to talk about the demo dash. Hey, Dovahkiin. What's up, Dovahkiin? Danny likes donuts. Is this your actual setup? Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, we're going to go through levels. I'm going to show you guys the most important skips to learn if you're just beginning. I'm going to show you guys just some overall movement stuff. I'm going to show you guys how to set up the demo dash if you, have, if you don't already know. And I'm also going to do anything else you guys want. If you guys are familiar with the game and you have a specific area you'd like a strat on, we're going to go through routing. We're going to go through routing the whole game. The answer is yes. Um, so again, if this is only something that you've seen casually, this should be fun. I know that we have uh, another speedrunner in the chat right now, Smoke Pigs. And he is working towards uh, the sub one hour run, which he should have shortly. Definitely after watching uh, this Majama tutorial, he'll have sub one hour without question. Um, so let's get let's get into the game. Hopefully it's not frozen. Sometimes it does that. Sometimes it does that, and it's weird. Whoa, am I a speedrunner? Yes, man. Yes. Okay, the game is frozen. Hang on. It does this sometimes. I don't know why. It's like only Celeste. Only Celeste does this. I have to like close it and reopen it. Okay, let's see if this works. You're a speedrunner, Smoke. It's official. I have to beat the game first and then I'll become a speedrunner? Yes, that's how it works, Danny. You will have to beat the game probably multiple times. Probably multiple times. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. But Danny, you were going for like a ton of strawberries, right? I don't have my speedrun clock up either. Okay, game capture, hello? Hello, game capture? Can you, can you capture my game, please? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Where's my live split? I need live split. Hello, live split. Where's my splits? I mean, I don't really need them, but it's just kind of fills out the screen, you know? Kind of helps with the screen overall. Hey, Luigi. What's up, Lou? QB down. Oh my god, what happened? What happened? Did QB fall? Did he fall and hurt his, his back? His old man back. What's up, Lou? What's up, Bob? How are you, Bob? And Bridge in the house. What's up, Bridge? Welcome in, guys. Bob, you beautiful bastard. Alright, Celeste, please. I'm, I'm asking you nicely. Please? Please? Can you... Can you please just show up on screen, please? Por favor. Por favor. I'm gonna tell you a secret in Twitch whispers. Ooh, did you say whispers? Oh my god. Quad banger in the whole quad squad. 
Welcome in, friends. Quad Banger and the whole Quad Squad. This is Majama HQ. Shoutouts to Quad Banger. Thank you so much, my dude. For the love. So good to see you, my friend. Hey, what's up? Hello. Micro Drake has taken the first step towards the inner circle. Mother of Gliders in the house. What is up, Mother of Gliders? Welcome in. Basti's here. J Roy is here. Wow. Thank you for the love, my dude. Welcome in. Welcome in. Mother of Gliders. Walking with the host. QB down. Do we have to watch this? And uh, hang on, I'm gonna watch this first. What did you do, QB? Did you injure yourself? <laughs> oh my god. That is when the chair broke entirely. Oh my dear lord. Live react. Nobody tell him. What's up, quad laser? What's up, quad laser? What's up, guys? Oh my god. All the host alerts. And me with Celeste not even working. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna close Celeste. I'm gonna close the lesson, reopen it. Can I watch that? Can we watch that live? Hang on. I think I can. I think I can watch that live. Hang on. Let's put this on screen. I want to see this. This has to be seen. Twitch.tv slash quad banger. No, not twitch.rv. Recreational vehicle. That's twitch.rv. Whoa. I can hear myself. Recreational vehicle. Hello? Twitch down to RV. Whoa. Hello? I can hear myself. Recreational vehicle. Hello? Hello? Twitch down to RV. Hello? Hello? I can hear myself. Recreational vehicle. Yo. Hello? Twitch down to RV. This is crazy. I can hear myself. Is there an echo? Twitch down to RV. This is crazy. I can hear myself. Is there an echo? Twitch down to RV. This is crazy. I can hear myself. Is there an echo? Twitch down to RV. This is crazy. I can hear myself. Is there an echo? Twitch down to RV. This is crazy. Is there an echo? Okay, thank God we stopped that. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, so here's what we're going to do, guys. It's called BAM. Display capture. Boom, BAM. I should hope the cliff would see it would be like so much. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> we got to see that again. I should hope the cliff would see it would be like so much. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Look how relaxed he is before he falls. Look at his stupid face. <laughs> Look at his stupid face. I hope the cliff would see it like so many. Peace! <laughs> what is it? What is this? A Jay Shush stream? <laughs> Just laughing on the floor. What an idiot. Good job, Quad. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? We're playing a video game, I think. We're playing a video game. I'm pretty sure. If we can get it to work, I don't know what's what's going on. Bridge with the host. So many hosts, guys. So many people here to see some Celeste and to learn about Celeste. Oh, here we go. Hey, we did it. We got... It's finally working. We can see it. Fell the curl in the house. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello? Sub 40 today. Fell, we're not actually doing speed runs. I mean, I might. I might. I might run. Pancake Prince. Pan, 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 pan pancake Prince. I've already watched your PB run today. We're going to go over the PBs. We're going to go over a lot of stuff. We're going over. If you guys are just tuning in, battling strawberry in the house. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello? Shout out to Battling Strawberry, please, because she is the one who got me speedrunning Celeste in the first place. Thank you, Battling, for getting me absolutely addicted to this. And um, I love you. Uh, learning stream. Yes, it's a learning stream. Curl. Fail the Curl does, like, serious learning streams. If you guys want to actually learn from a good speedrunner, um, I would recommend Fail the Curl. He's extremely fast. Not only that. He is like basically a PhD in all things Celeste, so he can explain things um, way better than me. I'm what you would call like a baby speedrunner, I think. Um, I'm just learning, 
And I just want to kind of share the little stuff the, that I have learned so far for anybody who's been running or thinking about running. Um, there's a lot of mechanics that are not completely obvious. And I'm going to go over, I'm going to start with those. And if you guys want any me to explain anything further that I haven't touched on, just, just ask. Because I, I got three hours. We got three hours together. Pancake Prince lurking while at work. Thank you, Pancake Prince. So good to see you. Thank you for being here. Enjoy dinner, Bridge. So it's battling we have to blame. Yes, exactly right. It's battling, battling that's done this. She was like the, uh, the first person to like, you know, give you the the free drugs. Like, hey, I try these drugs, and you're like, oh, these drugs are great. And now you're addicted. Why the tuck in the house? How the tuck? I have a five minute ad. Be there soon. Chemical Packer redeemed file name. L2P Noob GG Easy. I don't know what that means, but what's up, Kim? Like, hey, Thanks, my dude. So, if you guys want to practice, I'm going to show you first advanced mechanics. And if you want to practice this yourselves, um, go to, I'm going to show you where to go because I just came here without actually showing you where I was. Old Site, this is a good uh, spot to practice. Old Site Awake, which is the third checkpoint here. You will have had to beat the level. But um, if you're interested in speedrunning, you probably have done it already once. It's not very far into the game. It's a good place to practice. There's no real danger. And I'm just going to show you guys uh, one at a time. Ultras. Yeah, we doing ultras. We doing ultras. We're gonna, I'm going to do like everything here. I'm going to show you guys like everything. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and put them in the chat. Um, so when you start out and when you're just casually playing, you have a couple of moves. There's a basic jump, which looks like this. Uh, you can grab walls. You can climb. This is the stuff that you learn right in the beginning. And you can dash. You can dash up. You can dash in any direction. Up, down, diagonal, down, diagonal, up. Um, and typically you have uh, just one dash. And you can tell because her hair, when it's red, it means you have a dash. And when it's blue, it means you don't have a dash anymore. And um, it will come back if you... Uh, there's a number of things that will bring your dash back, but the most... Um, obvious one is uh, touching the ground. So by touching the ground, you get your dash back. You can see the hair turns red, and then you can dash again. When Ninja's hair is blue, it means he's mad. It means, yeah, it means he's mad, and he um, and he tweets about it. Uh, Gray, Gray Toby. What's up, Gray Toby? Welcome in. How are you? Everybody say hello to uh, Gray Toby. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, if you have a nickname or something, I'm happy to call you that. Um, okay, so uh, let's talk about the uh, first kind of advanced uh, movement here, which is used all the time in speedruns. Uh, and it is a, um, it's called, I think it's just called a, I don't know, if it's, is it a hyper? I really should know all the names, but um, it's this jump right here. If Fel the Curl is in chat, he will let you know what this is called. I think it's just called a hyper, or the hyper might be a different one. What's this called, Fell? Are you here, Fell? Are you here? So how do you do this jump? So you can see if I normally was to jump and dash, it looks like this. Gets the job done. You know, it's pretty fast. But you can do it a little faster. You see how much quicker this is? And um, you guys, you can see in the center of my screen, you can see uh, my um, controller uh, inputs, right? So the way you do this is you dash and then you jump like quickly after you dash. So you can see there's like blue Madelines, kind of like shadows behind her. If you press the jump button while there's uh, one shadow behind her, then she does this dash. It's very easy, it's very quick, and it's pretty lenient too. Like if you do it really fast, she still does it. You can see there's like no shadow, almost maybe one shadow. It still works, or two shadows. So the timing is not super important as long as you dash and then jump. Okay, so that's the first one. Super easy. Jazzy Rico oh, in the house. Up, What's up, Jazzy? Majama, I'm late to so speedrun class. But I'm commuting from slave labor class. Oh, no problem, Jazzy. So good to have you. Swagboy420. Like, hey, it's a super dash. Oh, thank you. It is in ancient tutorials. It was also called the dash cancel. Ooh. Very cool. Okay, so yeah, I've seen that before. Dash cancel. Uh, okay, so that's called a super dash, guys, and it's the most basic one. 
uh, level two of the super dash. Uh, this is called a hyper dash, and it's basically the same uh, key press where you're going to dash and then jump. Okay, but the difference is you're holding down and forward. So down and forward, and then you do the same thing. And you can see the difference is you get a lower trajectory. You get a more horizontal trajectory. Okay, so this is a hyper dash. It's pretty easy. It's, you know, probably the probably the easiest one actually, because you're just holding buttons. And then um, you can probably tell from my inputs, but you can press them at the same time. I'm pressing these at the exact same time. You don't have to worry too much about the delay if you're just gonna do one hyper. Okay, same with the um, same with the super. You can pretty much press these at the same time. I guess your only problem is if you hit uh, if you hit jump slightly before, you're not going to get it. You just got to make sure it dashes first, but only slightly. Okay, so so far we have the super. We have the hyper. Hyper again, we're just holding down and forward. You can hold it. You don't have to like time it. You can just stay hold. See how I'm just holding it. You can just spam that in some areas. Exactly, smoke. You can. And you can get pretty fast just spamming that. Much faster than uh, just running around normally. Okay? So that's the first. Those are the first two easiest two. That's the one that I always somehow screw up. Oh, this guy? The Yeah, if you just hold down and forward, you can press both these buttons at the same time. And you're pretty much going to be good. I kind of try and roll to make sure that I'm dashing first. I will hit that a little bit, a little bit sooner, just to be sure. Okay. Um, now it gets a little bit trickier. Okay. So either of these jumps can be done in with the timing that will allow you to retain your dash. Okay. So normally you're doing this. The hair is blue in the air, right? That means you don't have another dash, which is cool. But sometimes you need another dash, and you can do that. Um, this one took me the most time to learn and get a feel for but it's all about delaying your jump all right so um, I talked about how you can just kind of hit these at the same time so if you want your dash back you have to press the dash and then press uh, jump with a little bit a little bit more of a delay in between if you do it properly you're gonna see that you get your dash back uh, we'll stay over here actually this is a good area so the rest of the setup is the same for a, for a hyper, you just hold down and forward, uh, dash, and you delay that jump. If you do it with the perfect timing, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not like frame perfect or anything, but if you do it with proper timing, uh, you're going to get your dash back. And that's where you really open up a lot of new possibilities in speedruns. A lot of strats require this. This is going to become second nature to you if you become a speedrunner and you practice it a lot because it's you do it a lot. You do it a whole lot. It's like seven, eight frames for the delay. Yeah, that sounds about right, I guess. J Rug is here to find doppelgangers. All right, well, good luck, J Rug. You know that you can't see people in Twitch chat, right? I love Dr. Speedrun Majama. Um, so you can do that, um, like I was just showing you with the, um, the hyper. You can also do it with the uh, with the super. Same thing. You just gotta. Um, hopefully you can see kind of a little bit the delay uh, by looking at my inputs but this is the best way to learn it guys is literally just to practice come to this area and just start practicing I remember when I first started it took me a while and I couldn't understand how are people getting their dashes back um, but the easiest way to think about it is just keep adding more of a delay if you're not getting your dash back it means you're hitting the jump button too soon you can see here I'm in the I'm in the air. I got blue hair. In the air with blue hair means you're just hitting the jump button too soon. So hit the dash, delay your input on the jump button, and you will get your dash back. Okay. So so far we went over the super dash, the hyper dash, uh, the extended super, and the extended hyper, which I think is what they're called. The hair turning white is a visual cue for extending. best music to learn I know this whole game is such good music such good music um, so next I want to show you guys another um, kind of an advanced I guess it's an advanced strat that if you're not doing it you're gonna want to start doing it like all the time uh, and that is a uh, it's a wall jump okay 
So normally what you do is, you know, you, you can get onto walls, you jump around. This is all a very normal part of the game, okay? Um, now if you dash, and you dash perpendicular to a wall, okay? Like this. And you're also close enough to the wall, okay? You can press jump with the right timing and get a big old boost. This is a good place to practice it, okay? You can see you hear like a you hear like a little noise. And you get a big old boost off the wall. And when you're speed running, you're gonna wanna do this at almost every place that it's possible to do it. You wanna do it. Because it's much faster and it and, and you travel much further. You can do it on the small this lower part of the wall too. You can do it anywhere that you have a perpendicular wall. So instead of getting up here and dashing and getting up here, whatever, you can just do a wall jump off of there and you're good. Come over here, practice it here. It's really this one's really easy. You don't have to worry about the timing too much. You're literally just getting to a spot where there's a wall that you can dash perpendicular to. And you're gonna press jump. You're gonna dash and then press jump. Gorthal. That's parallel. Oh yeah, palm top, parallel, sorry. Gorthal, two months. Thank you so much, my dude. With the Twitch Prime. You've blessed me with the Twitch Prime sub for two months. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, Gorthal. So many places you could use that Twitch Prime. You're using it to stay in the inner circle. Thank you so much, man. Okay, so um, that's it. This is it. And you can I'm gonna show you a bunch of places in the speed run where you use wall jumps. But again, just come here, you can practice the wall jumps. It's very easy. This one's not tough. Uh, it doesn't require any special timing, but you can kind of play around because there is like a bit of a uh, window. You can see I don't have to be exactly um, exactly up against the wall. I can be a little bit away from the wall and still get it. So it's pretty lenient. It gives you, it gives you, um, and I can even be like too far past the wall, right? And I still get it. So this one has a, this one has a lot of leniency. Walker, gotta shoot to bed up early for work. Definitely watch the vibe. Thanks so much for being here, Walker. Great to see you. Also, you don't have to be facing the wall. Yes, correct battle line. Thank you. So let's say I'm facing away from the wall. Same deal. You can just jump, um, dash, and hit jump, and then you're good. Great point, battle line. Thank you. Uh, so you don't have to face the wall, and you don't have to be super close to the wall. You still will get it, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Okay, Ultra. So I'm going to show you guys Ultras now. This is probably the most advanced of the movements. It's the fastest movement. Um, and it's something that, honestly, I haven't really incorporated too much into my run except for a couple of parts. But the uh, top runners do it a lot because it's the fastest way to move, okay? And what an Ultra... This is a great place to practice Ultras, too. What an Ultra is... Um, is you can do, uh, you can do, you can do alters from, oh wait, actually I should probably talk about, uh, wave dashing first. Uh, I have to pretend to be as good as you. Good shit, good shit. Okay, wave dashing. We're gonna talk about wave dashing next, okay? So wave dashing is basically, uh, it's similar to what I was showing you guys, like the extended hyper dash, where you would kind of have this horizontal flow, and you would get your dash back, right? So wave dash, um is the same type of deal you it starts from in the air so i'm gonna jump to start the wave dash and you can kind of uh you can kind of uh conceptualize how like during a run if you're coming through an area and you're jumping down and you want to jump down into a, a fast uh, movement how you'd be able to do that uh, using a wave dash so wave dash again you're coming from the air so you're gonna see me jump to start it you're dashing down and left, down and right, or down and left. Usually in this game, you're moving right though. Down and right, okay. Diagonal down right. That's your first move. Okay. Um, and then all you do is you jump with the proper timing. So it's just down right, and then you press jump. And that's a wave dash. You can see you get that horizontal kick, and you get your dash back. So this is a good place to practice it here. But that's a wave dash. Pretty easy, unless you guys have any questions. I mean, that's just something you have to practice. Um, it's just a downward dash, and then you're tapping jump. Like, as soon as your feet hit the ground, you're hitting jump. Again. I'm also pressing the direction I want to go. If you don't do it, I mean, that's fine. But you can see if I don't hold any direction, uh, she stops. 
So it just depends on where you want to land, and you can kind of control that way. But if you're holding over, you're going to get the maximum distance. You can see how much faster it is than, uh, you know, just regular moving around. I'm overwhelmed with homework, so I'll lurk and watch the VOD later. Love you, Majama. Thank you, Badlin. Thank you so much for being here and inspiring me to run this beautiful, crazy game. Good luck with the homework. So much momentum with the wave dash? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, um, it's, very, it's V-fast. It's V-fast. Okay, so that's wave dash. Uh, now we'll talk ultras again. Uh, so you can, anything that basically gets you in the position, you can wave dash into an ultra. Uh, you can extend it hyper into an ultra. Any of those movements that we already went over, you can do into an ultra. Uh, I'm going to show you um, extended hyper into an ultra. So again, we're just doing like the extended hyper, the horizontal, horizontal flow um, while maintaining your dash. And then you're going to dash down and right, uh, basically straight away. Basically straight away, you're gonna dash down and right, okay? Whoops. You can do it with anything though. You can do it with wave dash and I'll show you that too. So that's the ultra. You can see how fast I went. I went off the screen, that's how, that's how fast it was. Um, so you're basically doing an extended uh, or any kind of dash, any kind of uh, advanced movement dash. And then you're going to dash down right into the ground and then you're gonna do, basically it's like doing a wave dash after a wave dash. Um, so it just gives you a lot of momentum, tons of momentum. It's just, essentially you're just dashing down right uh, as soon as you execute uh, any of the advanced movements we went over. So it's just a really quick down right and you're gonna get a lot of speed. That's an ultra, that's all it is. So again, if I just um, was to do like a wave dash into another wave dash, that's pretty fast, you know? That's pretty fast. But the ultra really gives you that speed boost. It's the fastest way to move. Learning to speed, ba speed bash, speed run with Mr. Majam Daddy. Gives you more height too. That it does smoke, that it does, gives you more height. Um, let's see, I think that's it for like, for most, uh, most of the advanced maneuvers. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, next we're going to go over neutral jumps. Uh, neutral jumps, and I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to go to reflection. And show you guys um, a good place to practice neutral jumps. And also, um, this is a good... Oh, spike jumps. We can do spike jumps, too. This is a good place to practice neutral jumps. And also, it's a skip. A skip in reflection that requires neutral jumps. And yeah, we'll also, I'll show you spike jumps as well. And there's a good spot in uh, City that's also a skip. And I'll show you guys the skip, and I'll show you uh, spike jumps. I just got to get around here. Actually, I have debug mode on. I could just, I could just get up there using debug mode, but it's fine. We're right here. Okay, so this is the area that you can practice neutral jumps on. And um, normally in this section, what you would do is you would come over here, you come up here, and you'd hit this block. You bring it down, and that would allow, allow you to grab the feather, and then you'd ride the feather up here. And that's how you get up here, because if you try to just climb this wall without using neutral jumps, um, no matter how you do it, um, you're going to run out of gas. You're not going to get there. It's um, Stamina is something else in this game that there's like subtlety to it, but it, basically you're, just, uh, you're limited to how often you can do certain things like climb. You can't climb straight up forever. You can't climb jump forever. And eventually you'll, you'll lose your grip. Basically, and you'll fall. Sawcon Dis. Like, hey, what's up, up Sawcon? How's it going, man? Shout out to Sawcon. Absolutely epic first person shooter player. 
Uh, oh, Nerdy Jane is here as well. Is that Nerdy Jane? What's up, Jane? How are you? Is there going to be a replay of the stream available? Yes. Um, you can just go to my channel and the, the VOD will be there. Yeah, it'll be saved, and I, I may also put it on YouTube. That's a good point, but it'll definitely be saved to the VOD. Unga. What's up, Unga? You are total G. Good luck today. Thanks, man. Unga, also a, a, a Celeste speedrunner. Thank you, Gritobi, for taking the first step towards the oath, my friend. Welcome in. Jesse Lee. What's up, JLH? Welcome in, man. So many top-tier people in chat today. Thank you so much for being here, guys. We are going over some speedrunning basics for Celeste right now. We're going to show you an advanced mechanic called the neutral jump. This one took me a bit of practice to figure out exactly the timing, and I'm hoping that uh, by you guys seeing the controller inputs, you'll be able to get a visual on it. Um, personally, I don't know that visuals really help me learn. Uh, I have to get in there and like get my hands dirty and like learn trial and error, figure it out. A lot of this game is just a feeling, a feeling that you ingrain over time. Uh, so neutral jumps, um, the way they work is they allow you to jump forever. Like normally you wouldn't be able to keep climbing this wall, uh, especially when you're blinking red like that. But you can see that I can easily get to the top of the wall from any position. Okay. So the way neutral jumps work is normally you would be holding grab or you would be holding like uh, you'd be holding towards the wall and trying to jump up like this. You can see how my button presses are. I'm holding I'm holding a direction, okay? But if you are able to jump if you're able to jump Whoa! Tess! Tess, baby! Three months in the inner circle pass. Thank you so much, my dude. Check out that red hood. Man, that is a beautiful thing. I'm gonna give you a secret handshake, Tats. Shoutouts to I Gots Tats, please. He is an epic level streamer. All around good dude. And uh, a top tier stream supporter as well. He's always in other people's channels. Showing love whenever you can. Um, okay, so neutral jumps, guys. What you're going to do is you're going to want to jump away from the wall and not touch any direction, okay? And uh, and then you're going to want to go back towards the wall. It's kind of hard to explain, but look at my uh, inputs. It's kind of like this little dance you have to do where you're jumping, you're not pressing a direction, and then you're pressing over towards the wall. And my fingers are kind of like, it feels very strange compared to like the average way that I would jump up a wall. But once you get a feel for the timing, it's pretty easy. It's pretty consistent. You see how it's just like a dance? Majama, how do I do one of them there fancy schmancy hyper dashes? Metal Glory, where are you went over hyper dashes? You weren't here. Besides, you, I'm pretty sure you taught me how to hyper dash. <laughs> Shout out to Metagloria. Amazingly fast Celeste speedrunner. My personal idol. And he has a great head of hair. Um, so yeah, so check out my controllers, guys. This is a neutral jump. It's just going to take practice. I'm trying to like watch my stream inputs and continue to neutral jump. But you can see I'm just... Literally, it's just like... Jump right, jump right, jump right. You're switching back and forth. Don't hold right. This red hood is slick. Metaglory has taught me quite a lot of Celeste too. Yeah, Metaglory is a great guy. And a lot of the Celeste community is amazingly helpful. And I'm going to give you guys some, uh, some recommendations as well as to where you can go if you want more. If you want to learn more, um, you can check out um, well, right now, I'll just tell you right now, like, if you're a speedrunner, you want to be a speedrunner, maybe, maybe your best time is an hour, maybe your best time is 50 minutes, maybe your best time is an hour 30, and if you want to get better, uh, go to speedrun.com and look up Celeste Any Percent, which is the category that I run, unless you're running a different category, you can find uh, a video library there of every 
conceivable time possible. So let's say you're at an hour 30 and you can't seem to beat an hour 30. You can watch a uh, playback of someone's hour 25 run. You can watch a playback of somebody's hour 20 run. And you can see where different people use different strats. Everybody plays a little bit differently. The more you watch speed running, the better you're going to get. I guarantee. Because you're just kind of subconsciously like... You're, you're absorbing the information and when you get to that point in your run you're going to do it easier because you've seen it over and over you've seen it done uh, plam top so we should be pressing direction and get to the wall but once we touch the wall stop pressing direction yes that's exactly it so you can hold on to the wall I'm not pressing a direction you can jump off the wall I'm not pressing a direction and then you press over so it's just you can see that I'm not pressing a direction when I'm pressing jump and it's just this dance you do, back and forth. And what it allows you to do, like for instance here, is avoid that whole part where I showed you where you have to go over there and get the feather and come back. You can just you can just neutral jump right here up the wall. And that's it. Um, so that's neutral jumping. If you guys have any questions, um, please let me know. Majama, are you a ventriloquist? Your lips never move when you talk. I haven't programmed that in yet. Can you neutral jump when you run out of stamina? Great question, Smoke. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, I can just... Duh. Yeah, you can keep it going as you, when you run out of stamina. I'll show you. There you go. So I have, no, I have zero stamina. She's sliding down the wall, but you can still neutral jump as much as you want. So, exactly right. Let's, let's say you're in a run and you... And you mess something up, or you, you end up grabbing hey, onto a wall too listen. long. And you, uh, oh, 10 seconds of zen, but I don't have the pyramids. Can we do it anyway? Yes, Palm Top's got your back. Yeah, you can keep ginger jumping on the side, so if you run out of uh, stamina, you can use that to get yourself out of, like, a situation where you might normally, like, fall into spikes or die. Um, I'm going to keep this Celeste music going because it's pretty chill, but let's please take 10 seconds, guys, and just relax. We have very very busy days. I'll pause it so the music ducks a little bit. We all got a lot going on. We got work. We got school. We got family lives. We got relationships. It can be very overwhelming. I think it's important just to take some time together and just focus on our breathing. Focus on being present in this exact moment. Just take 10 seconds Allow your thoughts to come and go and just breathe with me for 10 seconds. This has been 10 seconds of Zen. Thank you so much. JLH, thank you for the Zen track, by the way. That was JLH's Zen track. I made that. Proud Papa. Proud Papa JLH. Metaglory says you only need one or two neutrals. Yes. Focus on our screaming children. Yeah, so um, I'm showing you like a ton of neutrals, but you can get up here with regular jumps, and then once you get to the top, I think you can do like a wall jump here. And then once you get up here, you just one, two, and then you're up. Uh, I'm sure that's how it's done. If you're really fast, I just kind of do it. I just kind of get up here and then just neutral jump as much as it takes to get up. It's still faster than going all the way back there and uh, getting the feather and doing all that stuff. Okay, so back to the map. Good stuff, that Zen. Good stuff. All right, so um, that's all the advanced mechanics, believe it or not, unless there's anything you guys can think of that I'm forgetting. So, um, oh, actually, spike jumps. That's right. We talked about spike jumps, uh, Smoke. So I'll show you where uh, spike jump is used, and I'll show you how spike jump works. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the entire game, probably. I think I have time for the entire game. Uh, go through and um, show you guys the strats that I use. They're not the fastest. They're not the slowest. My PB is a uh, 42. Well, it's right there, 42 and change. Um, so if that's faster than yours, then I might have something to teach you. Um, but the spike jump is basically, um, this is the best place to show it. And this is the way that you, um, this is the way that you can kind of get through this room much faster. 
So again, the regular strat is to kind of come up here, come around here, grab this block. The block falls, and that allows you to make it over here. If you can, um, if you can get to this here with a with a dash, you can just fall, spike jump, and then you can get right over here. So the spike jump is just all about lining up properly, uh, lining yourself up with like the corner of the spike. And uh, luckily, this holding onto this wall right here lines you up perfectly with right below you. All you have to do is worry about the timing of the jump, which you just practice. You kind of just have to jump at the right time. P-Paws Grand Slam. Nice. Did you go over second block list? Uh, no, Meta, I didn't do any like in-game strats yet. I didn't do any in-game strats. How? Yeah, Smoke, it's literally just a regular jump with timing. This lines you right up, and then you just press jump right there. So it's right in the corner. And there's a couple places that you can do. There's another spike jump, which I'll show you. It's a different kind of spike jump, but you can actually do, like let's say I got here without a dash which I do sometimes, but I just mess up. You can actually spike jump off of both these spikes. Um, and uh, I'll probably show you eventually. There you go. So it's just all about hitting, it's all about placement. You just want to hit it like in the corner, time your jump properly, and, uh, and that's a spike jump. Pure, pure magic, pure magic. Sisera. Welcome in, Sisera. Shout outs to Sisera. Newly affiliated Cicero the Archer. It's a chicken attack. What's up, Ken Show? Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Cicero with a long stream today. Had a lot of fun watching uh, Cicero today. Um, but that spike jump, there's another kind of a spike jump which I'll show you. And uh, Smoke, I've seen you execute this one before, so I know that you can do it. But there's a couple places where you do this spike jump. Uh, one is in um, the resort. Uh, where in the resort, though? That doesn't matter. I can jump around. Um, oh, I know where it is. Okay. I'm actually just going to do this part because it's weird the way the hotel... Well, actually, I don't have to get all the way through here. I can just... The problem is I don't, like, have it memorized. But um, I think it's down here. Is this... Is this where the spike jump is? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, it's right down here. Whoops. I don't wait, meatball. All right, so right down here. Okay, so this room. Uh, again, the normal strat is just to kind of come over here. Depending on what order you do the rooms in, come up here and then come up here. It's not. It doesn't take a long time, but it's much faster to do this like corner spike jump. I want to show you. Risk of Rain Two is pog. Yeah, Risk of Rain Two is amazing. Hate to raid and run, but I need to feed the animals BRB. No problem, sis. So good to see you. Thank you for the raid. Uh, so this corner spec jump here um, looks like this. Maybe it looks like um, looks like this. Oh, there we go. So you can see how I jumped off the spike, was able to dash upwards, and basically just clear this whole room super quickly. So one of the kind of secrets um to getting this and there's a couple other strats that it's helpful for is to map two jump buttons okay so you can see on my controller down there in the middle these are my two jump buttons one is x and one is circle again ginster did i say hi again ginster how are you again love you dude thanks for being here again and i'll see you soon man have a good sleep not sure what's wrong with my mail, but I never got mine. Uh, Whitehair, the second round of uh, Majama mail did not get sent out yet, so don't worry. Do not worry. Um, but yeah, so if you map two buttons to jump, you'll have an easier time with this and some other strats. Um, but um, you can see, I don't know how detailed you can see it on my inputs, but I'm, I'm actually still holding the first jump button. I just hold it, and then I press the second jump button. Okay? The other thing is like your angle of attack here. You can't come on, you can't do this like too, um, too perpendicular or too parallel with the spikes. You have to come in at an angle. So you can see I have this kind of angle happening. But you can't really die. It's really, you, it's the spike's not gonna kill you unless you come too close like this way and jump straight up. So if you're coming in from, the, from this room 
Come in at an angle. Hold the first jump button and press the second jump button. You're going to be able to then dash, uh, dash straight up and get right through this room. That's it. Quad's still looking for that signed photo. I was cheated. Uh, Chemical won fair and square, guys. Fair and square. Majam, if I ever redeem surprise mail, you won't show up at my doorstep, will you? Jazzy, I promise. Um, I will not show up without an invite. I promise. That was my concern, Jazzy. Yeah, Palm Top had the same thing. Like, uh, you're not just going to roll up, right? That would be the ultimate Majama mail. Literally, Majama shows up. But no, guys. I'm not, like, super weird or creepy. Don't worry. Uh, so that's a strat here. Um, so that's spike jump. That's two different kinds of spike jump. Majama's my neighbor, yeah. We're very close. Paul is actually closer to me. Paul is the closest one to me. Jazzy's the second closest one. And then Palm Top, and then Balancer, I think. Hey, Mad Apocalypse. I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? What's going on, man? How are you? Welcome in. You're all comfy. You're all comfy with your, uh, with your blankie and your hot cocoa. Hey, guess, guess I'm not listen. getting my mail. Wait, what? Oh, Demo Dash. Good call. Yes. Let's go over Demo Dash. That's exactly what a creepy person would say, Unga. Quad, did you redeem Majama Mail? You got me confused. Majama, can you show the key skip for the temple bit of Summit? Yes. Oh, that's good. Smoke, you just reminded me. Thank you, you legend. That's another advanced strat. It's uh, the reverse the reverse hyper dash. Uh, reverse hyper dash. Um, j Rogue, I'm probably not much farther than Balancer. Oh, okay. You're going the other way. Yeah. True. South Jersey. Uh, so Smoke wants to see. What else did someone else just request? Smoke wanted to see the key skip. Um, and then what did somebody else say? Oh, Quad redeems a prize mail. Nice, Quad. I got you, man. Uh, DM me your address again, Quad, because I had it. And uh, I just want to make sure I, I still have it. You will be getting some mail. I request my Jama mail, but, you know. Send him a god dang armadillo. Majama mail's price inflated. All right, I'll show you that. I'll show that skip now, Smoke. The Mirror Temple key skip. Probably the uh, single most important skip, I think, if you're just learning the game and you want a, a good skip to learn that's going to save you uh, time, that's going to make it worth, it's worth the time. Um, how do we get there? Is this it? I think this is it. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And then I'm going to actually go through the entire game, guys, and showing you these skips again. But this is a good one because it, not only, like I said, is it a great skip, but it, it'll show a new, a new uh, strat that I didn't show you. So the way this room uh, typically works is you have to get two keys, okay? And you take the keys and you go in here and you unlock this door. And then you go back, you get the other key, you unlock this door. And then once you have both doors open, you come all the way in here, you get this bubble, you take the bubble all the way over. The bubble follows this like green, follows this green line over here. Mad Apocalypse with the host. Thank you, my dude. 6969. What? Uh, you take the green bubble, or the green, uh, the green line in the bubble all the way over and you get into that shiny uh, wall over there. Hey, listen. But you can skip all that stuff. Oh, sorry, what's up, white hair? Why does everyone think I'm American? I don't think that. I don't think that, Lou. I know where you live. Wait, why am I, white hair, why am I listening? Did you do that by accident? Quad's waiting on a backflip. Oh, okay, guys, backflip time. Thank you, Quad. Hang on. Ugh, I haven't even like limbered up yet. Hang on. Absolutely 
flawless backflip. Crushed it. Crushed it. That felt good. That felt really good. I haven't done a backflip in a while. It was, um, it looked really good. I wish you guys could have seen it. Okay, back to the uh, skip here. This is known as Mirror Temple Key Skip, okay? You're going to want to get yourself right here, and you're going to want to not do that. Um, this is one of those things that, like, I can do it during a run, and then if I, like, stop to show somebody, it takes me, like, five tries. But if I'm in a run, I can do it, like, I can do it, like, ten times in a row <laughs> with that, like, first try. But as soon as I, like, am trying to show somebody, I'm just going to keep failing. Okay, this is what it looks like. There you go. So that's how it's done. So how do you do that? What you do is you're going to want to get to this side of the uh, platform here. You can just push up against this wall if you want, and then face this way. And then basically from here you're doing, remember before um, I showed you guys the uh, super, the extended super, which is you're not holding forward and down. You're just dashing and jumping with the right timing to give yourself your dash back, okay? So you're basically doing an extended super. So you're going to get yourself to, uh, to this wall, you're going to face uh, face this way, extend it super, and um, and then hold left because you're going to want to go back behind you. And then do a up left dash at the end. Uh, so just make sure that you your first two moves are a dash and a jump, and that's all you're doing. You don't have to worry about like, you know, I tried to show some people this, and as they're learning, and I did it too, is I would be like, when do I dash? I would be dashing early, trying to get that second dash in, but the first move is just a dash and a jump and just getting the timing right with that and uh, getting a feel for the um, for when you do both things and uh, also just like holding left like how does that work it's all just timing you have to just get in there and just mess around with it over and over until you get a feel for it that's really the only way to the only way you're going to learn it um, but then once you get the dash jump you're it's going to fling you basically to like the middle of this corridor and then you're going to want to do an up left dash and that's going to get you all the way to the wall. You will have to grab the wall, so be ready to grab the wall. Um, and then uh, that's it. And you're going to skip a big chunk. I showed you guys what you have to do normally to get it done. You have to get key, get one key, unlock the door, get the other key, unlock the door, ride the bubble, all that stuff. You can skip literally all of that stuff just by doing this one, uh, this one skip. This game makes my brain hurt, dog. This is my favorite level, Mirror Temple. Majama, I was practicing the first key skip of this chapter, and I got it like twice, but I feel like I wasted more time doing that than just going the way the game means for you to go. Jazzy, I'm so, so glad you brought that up, Jazzy, because that is like uh, something that I discovered when I started speedrunning, and it's like a constant back and forth kind of a struggle, because as you start to... As you start running and you're still not able to get these skips down the first try second try third try there's like a tipping point right where just doing it the intended way would have been faster than trying and failing the skip five times and that's something that you just have to you just have to keep at it and the way I see it is always go for the skips always go for the skips and always go for the fast strats even if you fail them more often than you succeed in them even if your time would have been faster had you not done it uh, I think you always go for those unless you're just kind of want a casual PB but I mean it you got to think long term and long term you're gonna want to be able to hit these strats first or second try and the only way to do that is by practicing them right this one I just can't believe like how much I fail it when I'm just trying to show it and then I literally have never failed this <laughs> during a run so it's crazy but I just I can't even do it now but I think you guys, unless you have a specific question, you guys saw kind of how it works. Once or twice anyway. And, uh... There we go. Okay. So that's it. That's how you do that. The more you practice it, the more natural it becomes. This is intense. I want to cry. Yeah, you're going to fail it a ton. And, um... And that's the only way to get the muscle memory working and be able to come in here and do it first try. And then you're really gonna see time just, you're gonna be PBing like crazy. Jazzy was just here for a good time and you crushed her. No, what? When I hit it the two times, I was like, hell yeah, exactly. Particle NG has taken the first step towards the oath. Welcome, Particle NG. 
So good to have you. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's also, and I'll, I'll pick another spot here to show you guys that kind of dashing into a wall um, is actually another advanced uh, advanced maneuver. You can do any of those kind of dashes that I showed you before. You can do them all like uh, against a wall and kind of reverse. So um, you can see like this is a great, great example of it because you can see how short this platform is. There's no way you don't have enough room to do a dash in which you would get your dash back because you can't delay the jump enough because you don't have, you literally don't have enough ground. Okay, so what you do is you dash against the wall first, and that's gonna ena that's gonna enable you to uh, get the bounce and also get your dash back. So you're getting the speed, and you're getting your dash back. And I promise I will do it at some point. There we go. So that's like a strat for this room. Enables you. It's not a big time save because you're literally all you have to do is this, and now you're you're done with the room. Whoops. Is this gonna put me back over here now? Yeah, that's okay. We can get back this way. Um, but yeah, so you, it's the same thing. You're just doing it against the wall and then you can launch yourself and also maintain your dash. Looks like that, okay? There's another uh, place you do that in um, Golden Ridge. And again, it's, it's the same kind of, um, it's the same kind of thing where you just you're just dashing and then you're jumping and it's just the timing of working out when do you jump is the only tricky bit that takes time is just practicing that. Yo, Bal is here. What's up, Bal? Shout outs to Balancer, even though everybody knows Balancer. Genuinely good dude. Oh, Demo Dash. Thank you, uh, Gritobi. Let's show the Demo Dash. Demo Dash is um, something that high tier speedrunners do throughout the run. They'll do demo dashes in a lot of different places. But for somebody who's just starting, there's really only one place to do a demo dash, but it is extremely worth, extremely worth uh, doing the demo dash in this one place. It's also, in my estimation, not a super difficult uh, trick to pull off. Um, so I'll show you guys the demo dash and I'll show you guys how to get the demo dash. I'll show you how to set it up. Um, I just have to remember where it's at. I think right here is where it's at. Um, and first I just want to set it up and show you guys um, exactly what you're skipping. If you've played this game before, you're going to know exactly what you're going to know exactly what room I'm talking about. And you're going to be so glad that you never have to do it again. Uh, Jazzy definitely is going to know what room this is. So normally the way you'd play this is you come down here. You come over here. This is all pretty normal. And then you come to this room. You guys know what this You guys know this room? Oh my god, dude. Brickbeard. Duke Brickbeard in the house. Welcome in, Duke. Shout outs to Duke Brickbeard who I had the absolute pleasure of hanging out with today in his stream, and man, I'm smitten. I'm smitten. I like Duke. Duke is playing Dark Souls 3, and uh, just really, I mean, when you find a good streamer that you connect with, it's like, it seems so obvious. It seems so simple. This guy's just chatting as he's playing. He's interacting with chat. He's, you know, he's like, the, 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 the speech is just kind of like effortless. You know, he's just kind of chatting as he goes. It doesn't feel forced. And he feels like he's really just having fun playing a game and, and talking about it and making observations and stuff. And it's really, it was really enjoyable hanging out with you, Duke. And thank you for bringing in and entrusting your community uh, with Mr. Majama and Majama HQ. Ultimate Omega. What is up, my dude? Welcome in. Um, okay, Majama, I'll follow Jesus. Oh, God. All right, guys. Look, you don't have to follow. I'm just telling you, like, I had a genuine, a genuinely good time in his chat today. Um, okay. And you guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, there's sometimes you go check out a streamer and they're kind of just, you know, they're kind of quiet and I don't know. It, it just, it's fine. But uh, anyway, all right. So this is like the cursed, the cursed room. Everyone hates this room because you have these, like, 
stupid meatballs and you have to jump through these moving platforms and it's just terrible. It's just all around terrible. You grab the key and then you go back here and then you come up here. You bring the key back up here and you do that and then you end up on the other side of this, uh, this wall, right? Okay, so I know you're asking Majama, what if there was a way that I didn't have to do any of that? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can absolutely avoid all that. Um, but to do that, I have to first, um, I have to first show you guys something else. Do, 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 do. Okay. So let me just switch, uh, switch up here and open up my display cap. Uh, now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download a program called uh, Joy2 Key. All right, it looks like this. Uh, joy2key.net is the uh, is the website. It's free. I'm pretty sure it's virus free, so you're safe to download it. I did that too. That was the biggest endorsement I've ever seen Majama give. Um, so I hope I didn't oversell oh you. Oh my! Oh my! I hope I didn't oversell you, Duke uh, Brickbeard. Now there's going to be a lot of uh, pressure next time one of one of my followers comes into your chat. All right, Duke, show me what you got. You better be entertaining as hell. Um, so Joy to Key is, uh, you download it, and then it looks like this. Pretty simple. I did not register it. Uh, what it enables you to do is map multiple inputs to a single button. All right, that's all it does. So my button I use is button six, I guess, uh, which is my right uh, my right, not the shoulder button, but the right, not the trigger, but the shoulder button, my right shoulder button. And you're going to want to map three inputs to that button. Okay. Down X and enter. That's it. Down X and enter. Those are the three buttons that you want to map. Can I get a virus ridden version? <laughs> yes. Just extra virus, please. I want everyone just knowing all my personal information. Okay, so once you've done that, this just kind of hangs out in the background. And um, and then I'll show you what that translates to in-game. Hopefully, am I, is it, hello? Is it working? Yes, okay, we're good. What if you weren't playing on PC? That's a great question, Luigi. I don't know. Moving on. Uh, so <laughs> So when you press that button, you can see uh, in my inputs there. That's my that's my demo dash button. It really doesn't do anything if you're just standing still. If you're moving, it does a it does a it basically it's like a it does a down and it's like pressing down and a dash. And I don't know exactly like how it works in terms of like programming language, but it's like you have this little small pixel window that you can squeeze through here in this wall of uh, dust bunnies, and you can only you can't make it through there with a regular dash you can only make it through there if you're um crouched and dashing at the same time which is really weird i don't know how you do that in midair um but um if you do it right you can skip right through here perf villain redeemed human sacrifice first of all hey perf villain like, hey, how's it going welcome in now the way sacrifices work perf villain if you're not aware, you can sacrifice yourself, you can sacrifice Majama, or you can sacrifice anyone in chat, anyone at all. The choice is yours, perf villain. But once you name the name, the name that shall be named, that person will be sacrificed. There's no takesies, backsies. No takesies, backsies. Lou says, choose me, I'm going to bed anyway. This speedrun presentation is brought to you by a cult of sacrifice. That makes me want to punch my own face in, can't believe it. Okay, Perf, please tell us. Who's it gonna be? Who are we sacrificing? We're just gonna sit here in silence. So you sacrifice someone, Perf. I sacrificed Quad because he loves Golden Corral. Oh my god. What if you close the stream? I sacrificed the stream itself. 
Well, Quad has been named Sacrifice. Is Quad here? Yes, he is here. Quad is here. Join me, friends, in thanking Perf Villain and thanking Quad Banger for his sacrifice to the inner circle. May we all grow in power. Mods, please lift up the ceremonial dagger and plunge it deep into the heart of Quad Banger. Thank you, Quad, for your sacrifice. We appreciate it. The inner circle grows stronger because of you. Okay. Good night, Luigi. Thanks for being here, man. Good to see you as always. So you basically cannot demo dash without uh, tool assist? Yeah, you can. Yeah, particle, you can. Um, it's just, it's just really hard. It's just really hard. Um, and the tool assist is, uh, someone explained it once, like certain speedrunning communities, they don't allow multiple inputs to be mapped to a single button. Like if it was like a sequence where you had to, the timing had to be right and you had to do like a dash and then wait two frames and do a jump and then wait two frames and you can't map a sequence of movements to a button, but there's no problem mapping multiple inputs to a single button. That's the way it was explained to me. Schisms? What's up, Schisms? Awesome name, Schisms. I don't know what I just walked in on, but I'm bored. Well, welcome in, Schisms. So good to have you here. This is Majama HQ, a.k.a. The Cure for Boredom. We are speed running a game called Celeste. This is a, kind of a tutorial uh, for people who are interested in speed running. I'm going to show you guys how to do this particular demo dash, which again, I want to reiterate, if you're just starting the game, this is the only demo dash that's really worth uh, doing, but it is worth doing. Never been to a Golden Corral, we don't have them here. You're not missing out, quad. So the way I do this is you want to look at the wall. You want to grab the wall here, and you can see there's like a black line. You have like the light brown outermost bit, and then you have inside of that uh there's another layer of kind of like darker reddish bits and there's a little black line you can see like madeline right now her foot is lined up with that black line exactly you can see like her foot and then like the toe pixel specifically there's a single pixel on her toe and what i do is i line it up as best i can right on that black line right there that's you can see how that lines up right there that's where you want to be from there you just jump and you demo dash you can see how easy I did that? Okay, let's try again. Line it up, jump, demo dash. Now, even if you uh, mess up a couple times, it's still faster than going and and like going through the whole bottom part like um, by a ton. So you can, I don't know what exactly it is. I'm sure somebody's figured it out, but you can die like five or six times in here and it would still be faster than, um, than doing the, um, the intended route even if you did the intended route perfectly. I don't know why I can't get it here now, but a single pixel, is she cute? All right, let's like leave the screen and come back. I don't know what's going on. Like normally first or second try this, I'm pretty sure it's because I'm uh, trying to show you guys. And that's literally like my curse is like whenever I'm trying to show off something, I can't do it. There we go. Crazy inputs. Oh, yeah, I'm here because I'm running this game. It's my fave. Oh, nice schisms. Awesome. What's your, uh, what do you run? What's your, um, what's your category and what's your PB? So, yeah, this is Demo Dash, guys. You can see that once you kind of figure it out, it's pretty consistent. Yeah, like I said, even if you die four or five times, it's still faster than the intended route. So, um, download Joy to Key, map those buttons to it, practice Demo Dash, and use it here because it's extremely valuable. Majama gets stage fright when explaining things. Yeah, that's probably it. Do you use Joy to Key or just input it? Uh, Joy to Key. Yep, Joy to Key. I highly recommend it. Uh, I've never done it without Joy to Key. And it's super easy and super worth it, so why not? Okay, so I think I've explained. Uh, is it possible without? Yes, Smoke, it is possible without. 
Um, but there's no reason to do it without... Um, I guess you would basically be pressing like jump. You'd be you'd be dashing and pressing down at the same time, and maybe another button at the same time. I'm not even sure how to do it without Joy Key. But my uh, semi-professional recommendation is just download Joy Key and do it that way. I only run any percent, and I'm at 40, 44. Nice, 40, 44. That's a great time. Kind of want to learn all red very soon though. Oh, no, nah, that'd be fun. Yeah, ARB. If you're on console like me, then there isn't much choice. Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know how that works. I guess it makes sense that there would be like no way to do it on console, right? There's a small window where you need to press crouch, then you need to press forward before the dash actually starts if you're on console. Yeah, that sounds really hard. I would recommend just doing the intended route very fast. That's going to be my recommendation. So we've been through um, all of the advanced strats that I can think of, um, spike jumps and you know reverse hypers and ultras and everything. Now what I want to do with the rest of the time is I'm going to actually go through the game. I'm going to explain the way that I do. Jazzy Rico, thank you for being a great fearless leader friend. Jazzy Rico, five months in the inner circle. Absolutely incredible, Jazzy. Thank you for um, running Celeste and being my Celeste friend and being my closest friend from Philly. Oh, I didn't show you guys something else. Oh, hang on, another another secret strat, Majama? Another one, Schisms. Welcome, Schisms. Swearing the oath, taking the first step towards the inner circle. Schisms, my dude. Welcome in. When you said I was like a little sister that one time, Majama, I shed a tear. It's true, Jazzy. It's true. Homework break. Hello, Battlin. Welcome back. You're just in time to see our super secret bonus strat known as corner boosting. Corner boosting. Uh, Matt the Man. I play on the Switch and I got the demo dash off, but it was very hard and took me like 10 minutes to do right. Yeah, you're not saving any time. It takes 10 minutes. That's for, that's for true. That's for true. Also, hey, Matt the Man, did I say hi to you earlier? What's up, man? Welcome in. Corner boosting is hard. Um, yes and no. I think at certain certain points it's hard, certain points it's easier. I start my run off here with a corner boost. And I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And uh, if you practice it here, you may find it easier to learn. The first thing that I do when I'm doing a corner boost... Corner boost and neutral jumps to the enemy. Battle and I... Check out the neutral jump. I don't know if you were here for the neutral jump tutorial. Thank you for the host, but uh, they're really not that bad. You can check out the VOD. And I will be doing neutral jumps again as we go through the run, which I'm going to do now, so you'll see them again. It's a lot easier once you get the demo dash timing down. Making yourself a rhythm will probably help. All right, so corner boost. Here's the way I start out with one, like I said. And the way I start out is I start out by holding, holding grab. So you can see that on my inputs, I think. Yeah, there we go. We're holding grab. I will definitely watch the entire vibe. I just want to come in and, uh, and say you're killing it. Um, I just love this game and I love uh, showing off some of this stuff. Even though I'm not the fastest, you know, around 42 minutes is not super fast. Um, but I'm, I'm faster than some and I've learned a lot and I just really enjoy this game and I really enjoy like helping other people get into it as well. Like Smoke Pigs just started running it and he's just, he's been like DMing me like, Oh man, I just tried this, I just got this. It's like, it brings me so much joy. Okay, so corner boost, hold, grab, and then you're going to dash. And probably the most important thing is just lining it up. You want to hit it like here. You want to hit it um, not so close to the corner that you're just going to go. You want to hit it almost like maybe a little further than you might think down. At least for me anyway, that's the way I line it up. Um, so you saw me do it there. You're dashing into the corner, and then you're pressing jump. Uh, so if you look at my inputs, I'm holding dash, I'm dashing into the corner, and I'm pressing jump. I'm pressing the jump button right when I hit the corner. Um, but you see, if you're too low, if you're too low, this is going to happen. You're going to kind of bounce like that. That time I got it. I'm trying to be too low. There we go. If you're too low, you're just going to grab that, or you're going to bounce up. If you're too high, you'll kind of still do a corner, kind of a corner jump, kind of. If you're way too high, that happens. 
if you're a little bit too high, you're just going to kind of glide on the ground. Um, but if you hit it just right, you see you get this real kind of a, a boost. You get a real, like, slingshot effect off the corner. You guys have any questions on corner boosting? I mean, it's... It's really not that tough. All the time, so annoying. Mr. Green Man 4 has sworn the oath. Welcome in, Mr. Green Man. Greatly appreciate you stopping by. Hey, Majama, I saw your post on Reddit. I'm just starting out learning the routes and loving it. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, my dude. I'm so glad uh, I brought you in from Reddit. Um, and guys, I just want to give um, recommendations while you're all here. One of the things that I like to do, and I said it earlier, but just bears repeating, go to speedrun.com. Go to Celeste. Go to the category you're running. For me, it's any percent. Find somebody. It's literally a library of VODs of speed runs. Find somebody who's at the place you want to be at. If your best time is an hour 30 and you want to get to an hour 15, watch somebody that has an hour 15 run. Watch somebody that has an hour 12 run. If you're if you're at consistently an hour 20, you want to get sub an hour, watch somebody's uh, you know 59 minute run. You will see what they're doing. You can take notes. You can go practice that something you saw and it gets you energized. You're gonna be like, oh my God, you can do that there? I never thought of doing that there. And then you go to that part, you practice it, you incorporate it. And I think watching runs in general is just like really underrated because of course you have to practice, right? But watching it, you're just kind of like ingraining things into your mind so that when you go to practice it, you've already kind of seen it. It's You're more familiar with it. Um, it's, it's super fun. Um, okay. There you go. Thank you for that link. What's that smell? Quad, what do you what do you smell? Particle runs done at GDQ do very well in explaining exactly what the texts are. I would recommend going there if you're looking for specifics. Yes, that's a good point, Particle. Yep, and I love speed running and GDQ is just an amazing event and the guys on the couch are always there to kind of break everything down for you. Perfect switch game. Okay. So that's corner boosting, guys. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. You hold, uh, you hold grab, you dash at the corner, you press jump when you hit the corner, and you're gonna get this uh, this boost. There's only a few places that I use it in a run consistently. The first is right here at the beginning of a uh, city. Uh, so that's corner boosting. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of my strats for city, okay? Uh, screen by screen. Normally, if you're moving around, you're gonna wanna be doing a, a super or a hyper. Uh, it's faster than just jumping and dashing, so if you have the opportunity to do this, I recommend doing it. Oh, there's another uh, strat which I'll talk about. Um, when it when it comes up, I'll talk about it. When we get there, I'll talk about it. Bob says I gotta go to bed. Uh, my king, enjoy this premium Twitch content. Thank you so much, Bob, for being here. Absolute inner circle legend, Bob. All around good dude. He will be at TwitchCon Amsterdam. If you guys want to go, uh, he's giving out free hugs probably and probably free drugs. I don't know. I don't know if that's for true, but rest well, man. Um, okay. So actually another, you can actually do a, um, a corner boost here, which is pretty cool, but I have not figured out exactly how to do it. So I don't do it. What I do is I just hit the spring. I come over here. And then I come up here and I start, um, I do a wall jump. Again, wall jumps, pretty much everywhere you can do a wall jump is going to be a good idea. Uh, this room, what you do is you come here, you do a wall jump here, you get yourself here. Extended hyper and get yourself right over here, okay? There's a couple ways to do this room. Uh, one way is to uh, wall jump up here, uh, extended uh, hyper over here. Make sure you get your dash back and then you can kind of come up this way. The way that I do it is not much different. It's just you're going to come this way and you're going to do a well jump off of that and get yourself up over here, okay? On this screen, what you do is you can see how I dashed over to this uh, platform. And then you're going to want to do a well jump right off of this wall here. It's going to bring you around right up to the top, okay? QB down. Uh, this room you do pretty much as, you know, you normally would. Uh, there's a strat here that I normally do, which I showed you guys earlier, which is like a reverse reverse uh, extended 
jump off of here. Doesn't save a ton of time because the intended strat is, um, I mean, it's not that much slower. You can just do like that and end up over here. Get yourself to this area. The way I do this is I'll normally uh, get myself around the corner here and then do like a downward dash to about here. And then you're going to do a wall jump off this wall and grab that. Um, I will normally do an ultra here, which looks like this. Get yourself over here. This is pretty much as intended. I'm not doing anything special here. Just kind of, just kind of going. This room, I do um, like a dash jump off of this block. It's gonna get you here, and then just dash up there. Oh, this is a great room to practice your extended hypers on. What's a good city time in your opinion? I practice city for a good amount of hours, and I can average. Uh, 130 to 145. I mean, that sounds really good to me for city, honestly. I mean, I think my best city is um, probably around the same, maybe 145. Uh, I wonder if I can actually change. Um, let me see if I can change this uh, to show my best segments. Oh, 151. There you go. So 151 is my best city. It all depends, man. I mean, it's all just up to you. It's good compared to a two, to a two fifty. We talking about drugs? Oh okay, yeah. So instead of the intended route, what you do here is the extended hyper, where again you hold down and forward, time your jump right, and you can get right up to here. And then I do another um, hyper jump right here into the next screen. It's gonna bring me down here, where I can just um, quickly uh, jump to this. And then up here. And then once I get here, I'm going to do a um, wave dash. Kind of get to this spot on the wall, jump off, and then wave dash onto this little platform. And you're going to be able to get your uh, get yourself up to, up to here. Another extended into like a bunny hop. Get yourself up to this position. And then again, it's just another extended, uh, extended hyper. Wall jump here. Whoops. Wall jump here, grab the gem, hold down and forward again, do another extended. You're gonna kind of clip the, uh, you're gonna kind of clip the ground there, which you're gonna want to do because you get your uh, dash back. You can even do like a little jump off of that if you want. And then you're just gonna wall jump up. Uh, this room has a cool strat where you're gonna hit the spring, and if you hit it with the right timing, you're gonna dash against this wall and do a wall jump. With the proper timing, you're gonna be able to get yourself up around to the corner there and grab on that. And then from there, you're gonna do a, uh, an extended um, a hyper dash. Or not extended, just a regular hyper dash. Just gets you over here quickly. Come up here. And you're gonna do a dash, a dash jump off of here like a super. Preferably, you're gonna keep your, uh, you're gonna keep your dash if you do it right. I showed you guys this earlier, or you can do a wave dash if you're not having any luck. It's actually easier if you do it from the um, bottom, from the transition. So again, the hair is red. We're going to grab this wall and fall straight down. Spike jump and dash. Um, and then this last screen, this is, um, this is, this, this strat um, took me a while to kind of get down, and even now I struggle with it. We're talking about drugs. I think City is like, world record is like a minute, so a minute 30 is not bad at all. No, a minute 30 is really good. Are you including Prologue with City? Uh, no. I don't, no, I don't think so. Oh wait, you're right. Yeah, my City should be like... Are those my... Yeah, no, this is wrong. It's it's cumulative, so you're right. That spectrum is so good, I gotta practice that. Saves one second? Nah, it's gotta save more than a second. Got to save more than a second. Um, yeah, exactly, Smoke. I just love doing strats that look cool, honestly. I'm not going to lie. If this is a cool-looking strat and only saves like 0.3 seconds, I'm going to learn it. And I'm probably going to do it because that's just part of the joy of speedrunning. Uh, so this strat here is um, neutral jump up this wall to this specific spot and then come up there. I made it look pretty easy first try. No big deal. Actually, it takes a lot of practice. There's a few ways to do this, and I'll talk about both. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you don't dash. 
You need your dash, so if you dash early, you're gonna end up up here with blue hair, and that's no good. Style point strats, exactly. Um, so what you want to do is, I talked about neutral jumps earlier, so you guys will have to do neutral jumps here. I'll do some neutral jumps here just to show you. If you weren't here, to check them out. You can kind of look at my controller and see what I'm doing. You're kind of alternating between jumping and pressing toward the wall. You don't want to hold. Uh, you don't want to hold uh, towards the wall. You have to alternate. That's what neutral jumps look like. And then um, for the strat that I just showed you, you want to get to like... Here, I want to get up here like with stamina so I can show you. You want to get to like this spot right here. This is like your money spot. If you jump off of here and you do an angled up jump, you're going to be able to like come around this corner and grab. If you're off a little bit, you're going to see what happened there is like um, you're, you just don't, you don't get the boost around the corner. The other way to do this is to come up a little bit higher on the wall, like up to here, jump straight out, and then you can jump just do a, uh, a straight vertical jump. You're not doing an angled jump. You're coming up a little bit higher, you're jumping out, you're doing a vertical jump, and you're gonna have just enough space there to grab the, um, to grab the wall. I need to try this, but I don't wanna open the game. Uh, the way I normally do it is this way, though. And that's pretty much it, that's city. And then, of course, when you get here, skip cutscene, and then your game's gonna crash, and it's all good. That's, uh, that's how it's done. That's a, known, uh, that's a known issue. I mean, I'm just super, super happy that that doesn't happen like towards the end of the run or like in the middle of a level or something because it happens in the beginning of a run. It's not a huge deal. And uh, it doesn't affect your run because of the way the, um, the, the files work. Is be You still... Um... Oh, here, I got to get the game back. Come on back, game. Come on back. GG, Celeste. Don't lie to us, Jazzy. We know you already have the game open. Okay. Next. Next is Old Sight. Uh, so you just start out by doing a bunch of um, just hypers, you know? Just do hypers. Get yourself here, dash down, immediately dash down left. Uh, holding down, this is another, it's not really an advanced strat, but it's something that you may not have known during your casual playthrough. But uh, take a look at Badeline's body when she falls here. Okay, normal, right? Normal, normal bodied. Uh, now if you hold down, you're gonna watch what happens. You can see she falls faster and she's like kind of stretched out. She's taller. That's called a fast fall, and it's very important. I mean, because you go fast, right? So again, the strat is um, come down here, immediately dash down left and fast fall around the corner. Get yourself over here, bust through this wall. And then you're gonna, again, incorporate the extended, um, extended hyper dash. It's gonna get you to this uh, wall where you can bounce off, grab this gem, come over. Ken Ken, my dude, welcome in, Ken Ken. Beauty standards in games, I know, right? So tall and thin when she fast falls. And then this one's a little bit of a tighter window, but it's the same exact move. It's just an extended hyper through the bottom. You can see if you're a little bit off, you're gonna hit the uh, you're gonna hit the spikes. But if you do it right, you can get right up through here, okay? Um, so this next part is kind of a one of those things that I was talking about, it's kind of a cool strat but it's definitely not necessary. Uh, so normally what you would do, and s I think Smoke, I saw you running, and one of the things I wanted to say to you is like, you would keep trying to tr trigger this cutscene. The way to trigger it is you have to go past the mirror. Go past the mirror, and then you can skip the cutscene. Um, then you get the um, dream blocks are now active, but I'm actually gonna go back and um, I don't know where I am here. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go back and show you guys. Not a big time save, but just, it's kind of cool. What you can do is you can do an extended hyper dash here, which is gonna bring you out into the middle of the screen. 
with your dash. You're then gonna dash up and to the left and put yourself like up in this kind of general region. And then you're gonna trigger the cutscene. What that does is when the cutscene ends, it's gonna place you, um, whoops. It's gonna place you wherever you were on the screen, like relative to the uh, center. It's gonna put you in the center of the screen, but on the same like vertical plane. I don't know how I'm, I don't know how to explain this, guys. I'll just show you. Basically, you spawn like in the dream block already. That's essentially it. You spawn in the dream block already. So it's just not much faster, but it's just cool. Okay. See. And then the rest of it's pretty normal. Get yourself up here, do some fast jumps and stuff. This room, actually, you can do a bunch of ultras. Um, you can see how fast you can kind of zip through here, come up here, get yourself on this platform, diagonally through here. Up here, you can do another ultra here. And any opportunity you have to do a, um, like to do well jumps, you want to do them. So again, like, Casually speed running or your first kind of run through you may just be jumping up, which is fine But it's just always gonna be faster to do uh, Wall jumps There's another kind of a strat here like every screen has a strat, right? You can see this door This door has a secret behind it um, It actually will line you up perfectly to do a diagonal upward right dash and put yourself right here All right, so again the casual player would probably come down here come over here and come up here And it's not that much slower to be sure but um, it's faster if you can just line this up like that and uh, get yourself right here. And there's two ways to do this next part too. You can just go up over and over like that. Um, the other way to do it is you can jump, a little jump here and just go like this. Okay? Okay. Now we get to fight Badlin or we get to see Badlin. Skip the cutscene. Uh, this part's pretty straightforward. There's another kind of a trick here, uh, which I will show you. Again, it's kind of like by the door, right? It's kind of like a secret by the door. What you want to do is get yourself like right against the bubble, right against the dream block, and uh, just dash up and left through the dream block. And then also you want to jump at the end of the dream block. You know how you dash through dream blocks and you can, um, you can jump at the end for like a little boost? So you dash up left with a jump, you end up right here, okay? From there, you can just do another uh, dash up left and get right through this part too, okay? So it's just faster. The casual strat uh, would probably be come up here and come over here and do that and then come over here, which is fine, um, but it doesn't look cool, right? So get yourself right there and you can come right through. This part's pretty straightforward. You might want to throw a fast fall in right there for a little extra speed. Nothing major. This one, what I like to do is um, you can kind of like one cycle this if you get up here and do a um, wave dash off that little platform there. It's going to get you down here to the key quickly and you can get back up before Badlin even reaches you. And the rest is pretty normal. Um, this room with the keys... There's a preferred method, um, which is to jump here, grab this first key, okay? And retry. And then come up here and grab the second key. Once you're up here with the second key, you're gonna wanna do an extended hyper and grab this key here while maintaining your dash. See how I still have red hair? So again, we grab here, extended hyper, grab that, and then we can just fall down and grab the last key. That's how I do this room. Now again, these are not all the fastest strats. I'm just showing you how I do it. This room, I just do some dashes. Wall jumps, extended. Wall jump there. Uh, these next two rooms are, um, are, are really hard for me. I don't have a consistent strat. I'm just gonna say it. I don't have a consistent strat. But I'll show you guys the strats that I go for. I'll show you what they look like when they're done properly. Um, but they are tricky. Uh, start out by doing a downward dash here. And then a um, straight right dash. 
and then an upward right dash. The idea is you want to land on the corner here. You don't want to land on the wall. You want to allow yourself to fall and land right here. What you want to do from here is an ultra, basically. So you can see I messed up on the way back. So the idea is you ultra there and you uh, uh, hyper dash back, and you can get you can get all the way back before Badlin even reaches you. Almost made it there, but that's the idea. I don't get it very consistently, but there I almost did it there too. That's close. But there's a number of variations you can do yourself, depending on uh, how you feel comfortable. And um, the intended route for this is kind of just to come over here, allow the battlings to get out of your way, and then fall down. But I'm going to try and get this done once for you guys. I just have a tendency to get like caught up at the end there. pretty close. You can also jump over that first battling. Like that. Alright, we'll take that. We'll take that one. Easier way to do this one is to super once you reach the ledge. That way battling goes above you on the way back. Yeah, there's a couple different ways to do that. I do that because altars are spooky for me. Um, so here's the first thing I want to show you on this one is just like the routing. Right, the routing is, uh, there's a secret here, if you didn't know that. Um, that'll take you down here. Then you can fall through this whole area and skip most of it. And then once you come down here, you're just grabbing keys. There's a couple things I do. If you jump first and get yourself up here, you can do a downward dash through that part and uh, jump out of the bubble and put yourself right here. Here's another little trick. Um, I'll show you real quick. With any of the breaking blocks, if you just stand on it, it takes longer than if you do a little jump on it. So doing a little jump on it is faster. Boop, like that, you can see it disappears. You can also fast fall through here. Uh, it's going to get you down a little bit quicker. And then once you get here... Um... Okay, that wasn't it. Yeah, this is another room that I struggle with, and it's, it's a long room, so it's very punishing on your time if you don't get it. But the idea is you want to do like this. Get yourself over here. Okay, that wasn't it either. I'll get it one time and then you guys will know what it looks like. And then you're on your own to practice it. It's just basically some like precise, um, precise ultra, uh, not ultras, but just precise hypers. That was close. That's a backup strat. So there's usually ways to like save your uh, save your run if you don't like nail the intended way. But I just want to get it here once so I can show you guys. The problem I'm having is I'm going too far back to the left. You want to like stop yourself before you get all the way over so that you have enough room to like jump up. I'm just doing too much of a uh, too much of a big jump. All right, so if this was a run, I would just I would just do that. If I'm missing out my intended like path for too many times in a row. That's it. Nice, we got it. Um, so the rest of the, the rest of the level is pretty safe. What I do when I get here is a hyper. I do a super here, which is going to take me over to the to this part. And then this is actually a really great area to practice like your momentum and maintaining your momentum. You want to basically just like dash, spam dash through here, and then um, you're gonna to want to do wave dash as much wave dashes as much as possible. Skip cutscene here. 
Just try and keep your momentum with like uh, wave dashing and uh, ultras wherever possible. You can actually, uh, from this platform, do a couple of ultras in a row. If you do them right. Um, but if you don't, don't worry. Just keep it moving. And try to uh, maintain your momentum. The springs are like killers. You don't want to hit the springs at all, if possible. Just try and keep uh, decent momentum. Dash where you can. Wave dash where you can. Get yourself to the checkpoint. And um, that's it. End of the level is very calm, but yeah, it's it's easy to mess up. And um, when you watch like the real top runners do it, it's super smooth, and they keep momentum through the whole thing. Very cool. Hey, Petite, what's up, Petite? Welcome in, man. Hope you're having a good stream. Wish you the best. Thank you, Petite. Does it save time to double jump through the dream blocks at the end of the chase? Double jump through the dream blocks? What do you mean double jump? This game has great music. Duke, this game has like, yeah, some of the best music of any game. Okay, let's keep it going. Um, this part, I'm just normally just doing like, just spamming ultras and stuff. Get yourself to here. Um, there's a little bit of skip here. Normally you would come around. Normally you come up here and jump around and do all this stuff to get the key. But there's an exploit, which I didn't talk about yet, but I'm going to talk about now, which is uh, when you leave a screen, you get your dash back. So you can dash forever if you're in between screens. And uh, use that to exploit here, where you can jump here and just get your dash back and get straight up here and get that key right away. Okay, get yourself here. Skip cutscene. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, screen. The way I do it most traditionally is I'll just get myself to this block, come down here, wave dash, and that's it. So again, I'm here, I'm getting myself here, I'm wave dashing off this block, and getting over here. The other way to do it, um, which looks cooler, is you can do like an ultra. It is possible. I have done it before. Yeah, something like that. Uh, but the top runners do it. It looks super smooth, and you go through the room like so fast. Uh, but I'm not that I'm not that smooth with it yet. So I'll just stick to my uh, tried and true. This room is pretty straightforward. Just get yourself down here. Um, this room. I'll show you again. Once you come in here, I do an extended. And get yourself up here. Do another uh, hyper dash across here. Fall down. Grab the key. There you go. Come back down here. This is all straightforward. Metallic salad fork. What is up, my dude? Welcome in. This chapter gives me the cancers. Um, okay, so this room, what I do is I do an extended uh, into this room. You're going to fall below this platform, and you can dash up. Another extended here, whoops. You gotta maintain your dash. So you can see by not maintaining your dash, what happens? Dash over and then you're done, there you go. Skip the cutscene, get yourself up here. Uh, this room, there's a couple different ways to do it. You can do a uh, wall jump off of there. Get yourself over here. Pretty straightforward, this one's another straightforward one. There's faster ways to do it, but this is how I do it. Uh, this next room has a pretty cool strat up here. Remember, wall jump whenever possible. Uh, this room, uh, I'll show you what I do. So that's pretty fast, so um, I'll explain it. From this screen, you're gonna dash and then jump when you get to this screen. There's actually a big, like, kind of a hitbox on this platform. So you don't have to worry about hitting it exactly. You can, I'm probably hitting it like in the middle, to be honest. Uh, but you can see it still allows me to do a dash off of there. And then I'm just doing a uh, wave dash on the middle platform. And then you're through there. I start off this room with a... Uh, I never noticed she goes like behind the chair there. That's weird. I start off this room with a wave dash. That way you have your dash on this wall and you can just come over here. 
An extended hyper dash here, another one here. Dash into this room. This one's pretty straightforward. You hit the first spring, grab that. Make sure you touch the wall up there. Uh, it looks really, really quick, but it's pretty easy. Just make sure you touch this floor. Make sure you touch this wall too, because you want to get your dash back when you fall. And then touch the floor there because you're going to want to dash down. So just make sure you're touching all these walls. All right, once you get here, this is another kind of a new thing where you can actually move these platforms faster by holding down. Uh, so you can do that a little bit through here. And then you're going to want to, um, instead of the traditional route of coming up here and grabbing this, you can just do a uh, another extended hyper, guys. It's very important to learn. Extended hyper yourself right in through that gap and you're good. Smoke Pig says, oh, did you realize something, Smoke? Ding dong. Um, come through here, grab the key. This is all pretty normal. As soon as this door allows you, uh, you can just do a super. And then just up and over these guys. Come through this room fast, get the cutscene. This is um, the big mess room, it's called. It is really easy to get stuck. My only advice is to follow this path that I'm taking now. Try not to get stuck and try to dash whenever you can. If you have the opportunity to wall jump, do it like over here. Do a little wall jump there. And just try to get yourself up to Oshiro. Uh, so there's multiple paths you can take here. I'm going to show you the path that I use and I think most speedrunners use. It's uh, bottom most path, top most path, right most path. I'll show you why we do it that way. So bottom most path, the way you do it is you fall down here, you're going to do a uh, hyper into this room. It's going to take you to this platform here. You can grab this key and just dash right over to here. There's another way to do this uh, where I think you use a... Um, you can do an ultra um, to get through here, but I'm not going to do it because that's not really what I normally do. Okay, this room is a pain for a lot of people, but there's a quick way to do it. As soon as you land, get yourself over here, do an ultra, dash through here, and then you're done. This room we did before, you just kind of bomb through here. This is the uh, spike jump trick, which I demonstrated earlier. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Smoke pigs banning people. I'm assuming that was like a, uh, a bot or something. Jane, thank you so much for being here, Jane. Good to see you. Get some rest. Smoke pigs doing the, doing the mod duties. Thank you, Smoke. Russian viewer bots. Okay, this part, you just do the wall jumps as much as possible. Get yourself here, hit this guy. Again, whenever you can do a wall jump, do a wall jump. It's always faster. Come straight left. You're going to see Oshiro here. Talk to Oshiro. Get yourself however you can as fast as possible into the upper most section, which is this one here. I don't have any tricks for this room. Just do it. I do have a trick for this section, though. What you're going to do is get to like right around here and do a hyper. It's going to put you in the next room. You're going to be able to dash over. And um, you're, just gonna, you're going to end up on the middle kind of tower there. And then you can do another quick hyper. And then you're through this room really quick. There we go. Dash up here, dash up here. Again, I don't have any tricks for this room really other than... Just do it. Um, you can do an extended hyper here, which is going to save you from having to jump across and grab this gem. So if you do an extended hyper, you'll have your dash and you can just go right there. And that's the next section. That section's done. The reason you do them in this order is uh, right here. You can just fall down here and then dash and you're right at the next Oshiro. All right, now you can end up over here. Just nothing really magical about this part. This next room is tricky. If you do it right, it's very fast and easy. Russian bots follow me. Um, what I normally have been doing is um, a wave dash into like a bunny hop kind of a thing. So that's what that looks like. Wave dash from this screen. A quick bunny hop and you're gonna dash right there. It's gonna get you right through the screen. Another way you can do it, which is probably a little bit easier is as soon as you transition, just do a, uh, a hyper dash 
and then jump and dash. You're gonna hyper dash over this, um, over that meatball in the middle, and then you just kind of jump through here and dash. It's very, very quick and easy. Now this next screen, you just do a wave dash off the first platform, and that's it. The only thing you want to be careful of is uh, if you hold over too far, you're gonna like end up in these meatballs over here. So you have to uh, kind of control your dash distance by using by pressing back. This next room, I remember Smoke was playing and was saying like, "Oh, I hate this room," but it's pretty easy uh, when you know the strat. You basically just want to walk into the screen, walk left immediately, and then fast fall. You'll see what happens. So you actually fall like in front of that meatball. I'm not doing any dashes or anything. All you do is just come down here, walk left, and hold down. It's extremely easy. You don't have to do anything, Smoke. You literally just walk, hold down. Um, and then what I do is I just come up here, wait for the meatball. Make sure you line that up right because you can dash into that meatball. If you do mess up, um, this timing here, all you have to do is like just give yourself some room there, jump over. There is the fastest way to do this is to um, do what I did here and then do like a uh, like that. You can do a um, corner boost, but I've I've never successfully done it. I don't do it as part of my run, so I'm not gonna do it now. I normally just wait for the for the meatball to cycle. All right, fast fall through here. This room I do pretty straightforward, not a whole lot. Throw a wall jump in there if you want. Whoops. And then get yourself over here. There we go, now we're going on to the next section. Wall jumps whenever possible. Extended hyper here. Allow you to maintain some of that speed. Grab the key, bring it up to the side. As soon as uh, you touch Oshiro, you can do a uh, skip. Uh, right here, you can do an ultra into this room. It's just going to kind of launch you. Nothing really special about this room. Fast fall here. You can dash. You can do a wall jump here. Want another wall jump here? That's the way I do it. Um, this room is uh, right before the demo dash room. You can do wall jumps on the corners like that if you want. One thing I recommend, skip cutscene, is to uh, transition this screen if you're going to try the demo dash. If you fail, uh, you end up all the way back to the beginning. But if you fail here, you only end up uh, right here. So again, the demo dash strat. Once you have it mapped to Joy to Key, is line your toe pixel up, um, and then just do a jump and a dash. Again, even if you fail this four or five times, it's faster than uh, than not doing it at all. This room I do pretty straightforward. And then we're at the Oshiro section. I have a few strats for Oshiro, not a whole lot. I'm not very good at it. One thing that you can do that's pretty easy is uh, right here on this Green transition, stay up here, and then you're gonna land here, and then you can do an extended hyper, and you can just come right here. Um, that room, uh, you just do a, a wave dash off the first platform, it's pretty much gonna just slingshot you through. Hey, Cicera, I love cheese as well. Okay, this room, pretty straightforward as well. Just do like, uh, you know. Hypers whenever possible. I usually do a well jump here. I do a fast fall here because if you don't, um, you probably will get hit by a Shiro. Coming into this room, I do a 
I do a hyper and then a bunny hop, and then you can just spam right dash, and I'm sure it will never even get near you. This room, I don't know what to do, so don't at me. This is the final room. I'm not very good at it. So my strategy is just kind of not to die. I do like to do a wall, uh, wall um, boost here. If possible. I got greedy. But I'd recommend like going to uh, somebody who's really good at this section and watching them. Because it is really cool to see an actual uh, good speedrunner do this section. Very smooth, they can be very fast and very effortless looking. I usually take like the bottom route there. Okay. So that's the dreaded hotel. Also, Majama, when you see this, I can't thank you enough for finding me and introducing me to base. You're truly an amazing person. You'll always have my support. Oh, thank you, Cicera. I'm so glad we met as well. I'm, I'm finna cry. I'm finna piss tears. It's so crazy to think that it all started about a year ago. And like, how does that even work? Like, how do people find each other and just like become a community? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I have no idea. Um, and you know what? The sad thing is, like, it's not going to last forever. We're not all going to be here in 10 years, 20 years, you know? But it's, like, such a beautiful moment in time that we are all here, you know? You just have to appreciate it while it's here. Okay, so, uh, there's a lot of cool strats in Ridge, actually. A lot of cool strats. It's, it introduces us to bubbles. Bubbles, there's a, something to keep in mind with bubbles. It's faster to uh, dash. Um, so here, if you just jump in the bubble, you can see there's like a delay. Now if I dash up while I'm in the bubble, it's faster. So that versus that. So whenever you're, excuse me, whenever you're in a bubble, you wanna be dashing. Skip Granny's cutscene. We don't care what she has to say. You can do an ultra here if you want. And then another ultra right here. And it just kind of like launches you uh, forwards. If you mess up, it's fine. Dash here. Dash straight through here. Uh, this part, you're just basically spamming right and dash. Because, like, like I said, bubbles. There's a few different ways to do this room. The way I do it is I come down here and kind of tap that bubble. Launch yourself up here and get over here. Uh, this room, I usually um, end up on one of these platforms and then just doing an extended hyper off of the platform. Gets you up here. This room is pretty straightforward. Now there's a few cool tricks for this bubble here, which I'll show you. Yo, what's up, Hab? Like, hey, what's up? Welcome in, man. How did things work before the internet? Hope the stream has been going well. It has, Hab. Thank you for being here. Orbs. It's possible to wave dash on the water in the screen with the cutscene, but requires very specific timing in case you want to try it out. I'm definitely going to check that out, Particle. Thank you. I've seen people do that, too, uh, the wave dash off the water. I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you, like, three different ways. First is the intended way, which is to, like, come up here, grab the bubble, come back down here, get the bubble again, unlock it. Great. Okay, way number two. Uh, you can get yourself over here. Grab the wall. If you line yourself up just right and you jump just right, you can get back into the bubble. Okay, so that's the second way to do it. Third way to do it, if you get under the bubble, if you down dash and then quickly up dash, it'll allow you... Normally, you can't go up right. Like, if you just jump into this bubble and try and go up right, you hit the spikes. But if you dash down first and then up uh, with the right timing... Uh, it'll allow you to go upright, which puts you at the first key with a dash, um, which means you can just go up and grab the second key. So there you go. There's three ways to do that. Uh, this one I do pretty straightforward. You can do like an extended kind of a jump like that. This room you just like just spam jump because the wind is just going to keep you there. There's kind of a cool strat here where you can come up here, and this is another spike jump. 
um, where you hit this wall, and then um, you hit the spikes, and then you can get up here. Okay, next. Um, this next one, normally you would have to go over there and grab the block. If you do a uh, wall jump uh, from this transition, and then another one right there, you can just kind of fling yourself up through the whole screen. And then again, same thing here. Instead of grabbing these blocks, you can just wall jump off them. And you end up uh, at the top. And you can just dash up here. Okay, this is a cool strat here. There's a couple ways to do this room. The intended way is just to carry this block the whole way over, but if you just want to line it up with the ground here, do an extended dash over there, uh, you can kind of skip that. And there's a visual cue as well. It's the kind of the red rock. You can see like a red rock. That's where you want to do it. It's pretty consistent once you get it down. There's another way to do it, which I've, I don't think I've ever really done, but I know how to do it. I think you're kind of like doing this and doing an ultra um, off the block. Yeah, I've never done that one. But yeah, you can ultra off the block and it's, uh, it's harder for sure. I guess it's probably a little bit faster. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Okay, we'll just move on from that. So yeah, once again, grab it. Uh, just line it up with the perpendicular to the ground. And then extend it hyper right there. Dash up. This room, you do a super and then a hyper. Get yourself here. Uh, once you get yourself on that block, you can do uh, another extended to the bubble. Climb up. Whoops. Fast fall down, and you can do a uh, wall jump there. This room you just kind of do as intended. No tricks. Oh, this is a cool strat. Um, so normally you'd come over here and bounce on here, and get up here, and then fall down and do all that. If you aim for the left side of this cloud, you can do an extended hyper and just kind of yeet yourself through the middle. And you'll maintain your dash, so you'll be able to dash the rest of the way through there pretty easy once you get it. This is another room where you do reverse hypers. So you're kind of bouncing yourself. You're facing facing the wall here because you don't have enough room to do it normally, right? So you face the wall and you do an uh, extended hyper. You're going to get your dash back and then do the same thing here. And you just go right to the bubble. You can also do that with um, wave dashes. Uh, this room, there's a couple ways to do as well, but the way I do it is I'll do a, a wall dash here, extended hyper, get my dash back up here, wall jump to the bubble, dash over, wall jump up, get your dash back by landing here, skip that platform, and you can just kind of grab there and go the rest of the way. Okay, this is a cool strat too, a couple cool strats. The first strat is um, basically the intended strat, which is to start the, um, start the block moving, get in front of it, Come over here and grab this. You can cut off a little bit of time by doing a um, dash off of there. Um, but the really cool way to do it is to get it, uh, pull it down to ground level. Uh, put yourself on the edge of this and then uh, do that, which is like an ultra with good timing. And uh, that's, it's, uh, that's, I'm really lucky to have done that first try, but that's not something that I normally do first try. This room, there's some good strats for, but I've never practiced them. So this is, I just kind of, this is again another room that I kind of just do the intended way. Just get yourself up here however possible. That's a move. Here's another uh, section that I don't really have good strats for other than just having practiced it. But, uh, oh, here's a cool strat here actually. So as you know, the intended route, kind of grabbing here, getting into the bubble and riding this thing over. If you do a fast fall, you can get in front of this. Uh, and then it's a little bit quicker that way. Um, these rooms, again, I'm not the best to kind of copy because um, I mess up a lot. I'm not the fastest, but I encourage you to go see like a good speedrunner do these because it's it's really cool, and they really make it look like there's no wind at all. 
They just fly through this with like ultras and it's really effortless looking and beautiful. So be mindful of these uh, snowballs. If you mess up, don't worry. It's fine. Uh, this is pretty straightforward again. Just remember to dash out to the bubbles. Whoops. You can kind of skip that second bubble if you want. And then the last section here is also super straightforward. Just get yourself into the uh, lift and you're done. All right, Kensho, good to see you, man. Thanks for popping in. Okay, what time we got? Okay, cool. So we're done with the ridge. Now it's Mirror Temple time. I'm going to show you guys the strats I use in Mirror Temple. Okay, we start off with a skip. And just try and do uh, as fast as you can through here. Now the strat for this room, uh, because... Um, it's tricky to get casually. You're just kind of not sure where to go. The way I do it is um, jump here, dash forward, and you're going to get a boost off of this um, moving platform here. It doesn't quite look like that. There you go. Dash again and then ultra right over. Get yourself into this bubble. Okay, right through here. Get yourself up here. I know Smoke knows this strat. You basically put yourself on this platform, and then you wait until it starts to move just a tiny bit. You can't jump from the very bottom. It has to be just starting to move up. And then you just do a, um, where you hold down and forward, you just do an ultra. And it's gonna put you right through the middle. Okay, this part's pretty straightforward. Just try and optimize your movements as much as possible. Fast fall through here, downward dash into the bubble, dash again. Hey, Oppenheimer, what's up, man? Bingo? Advanced bingos for people good at this game. Bingos are community organized speedrun events you should absolutely check out if you haven't. Super fun and well made. I thought you meant actual bingo. I was thinking of the board. I haven't seen any of the bingo events though. That's a good call. I mean, I've seen them like happening, but I've never actually been to one. And uh, also a big thing with this map is just routing guys, is knowing where to go. Uh, this is a really cool strat that I've never done. I can do the first part of the strat, but not the second part. Uh, basically you get yourself like on top of this moving platform over here. And then you yeet yourself across the stage. Um, if you do a bunny hop there, you can get up here. That's normally the way I do it. There is a way, the complete, the complete ultimate like pimp daddy speed run is to do a corner boost off that final wall and you can get yourself into the actual next room with like a ton of speed. And uh, if you want to see it, just check out any of the top speed runners because they all do it. Oh, I just did it. Oh my God. I just kind of did it. I've never even done that much before. First time. Um, but anyway, get yourself over here. I do a dash here to bring the platform over and then I fall and do like this. Uh, this is another just kind of, you just have to know where to go. Get yourself in this bubble. Here's an intended um, skip here. You can skip getting a whole key and a whole door. Uh, this part, this room is like the worst room ever to die in because it's so long. And at the end, there's like these spikes that are terrible. And I remember watching Smoke do it. And my thing to do is just kind of wait here. If you're not if you're not comfortable with the cycle you're on, just wait. Don't rush it. It's not worth it. And then you can actually dash up right here. And then uh, here, just up. Are you ready to dash down right out of this bubble? Put yourself in the middle. And whoops. Well, that's never happened before. As soon as the cutscene triggers, you want to uh, skip. There we go. 
Not like this. Okay, so when you first start out here, you want to go dash down right, down left, up left. That's the move. And then break this block and dash uh, down. Get yourself down here. You can see like it's pretty annoying, the movements, and they're not perfect, but by practicing, you'll get it faster. No cutscenes. I know, the cutscenes are great too. It's such a shame the speedrunners hate story. Okay, uh, here's the, like four cutscenes in a row. You just kind of get to battle as fast as possible, trigger the next cutscene, and then skip it. This room's pretty straightforward. There is kind of a yeet uh, right here. Once you hit this, you can just kind of yeet yourself that way. I do that one very straightforward too. This is pretty straightforward too. Just be dashing whenever possible. Be wall jumping whenever possible. There are good strats for like most of these rooms. So I'm going to show you as many as I can now. For this one, I land on this little ledge. Ultra down. Hop up. This one, you got to grab this wall. And then the seeker will hit the first key for you. Then you can fall down to that ledge. Hit the second key. For this one, what you want to do is you want to fall down along the wall. Down to the key. And then dash up and do a wall jump. I missed the wall jump. Let me show you again. There we go. And then you can just alter down here. Wall jump off this block and you're done. Uh, this room too, what you want to do is you want to dash to this um, block here. The seeker still is not triggered. And once you get on top, you're going to jump and dash. You're going to hit the seeker into the bottom button. Uh, this one, you just do an extended hyper. It's going to get you right there. This room's similar to that first room where you're gonna grab right here. He's gonna hit the first key for you and you just ultra across the room and you're done. This room just kind of, um, just don't touch the secret. That's the only thing I can say. I don't have like a perfect strat for this, but um, once you know the secret's like movements, it's pretty hard for them to hit you. There's a cutscene right here at this mirror. We'll all jump into this bubble. The rest of this is pretty straightforward, just do it fast. And now we're going up to Mirror Temple Key Skip, which I showed you guys earlier. Straight over here. Of course, see, when I'm doing it in a run, I fast fall down here. And remember I showed you guys before where just standing on these brick wall blocks is slower than like, giving a little jump to it. So watch, I'll just stand on them. Okay, now if you do a little jump, they fall like really quickly. Fall around there, eat yourself over here. Use this up. I uh, just do like well jumps here. Get myself like right here and then you can bounce off the seeker for the top part. Come down here. This room you just do an extended uh, dash again. Oh smoke, this is the one I wanted to show you guys. This is a really good strat here. Um, in bingo you need cutscenes, what? All right, so here's the strat I wanted to show you. What you do is you get yourself to the um, bottom corner of this block, and then just spam jump. And the seeker's gonna break the block and hit the key. So just grab the bottom corner. When he starts coming toward you, just spam jump. And he's gonna consistently break the block and hit the key. And then you can just do it. Um, Like, oh, Listen. oh, sorry. What's up? Do you want an invite to the bingo tournament? What? I would be honored. Hopefully the timing works out. That's the only thing I can say is um, uh, my, my stream time is pretty limited. I usually can only stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and uh, sometimes in the weekend on the morning. But yeah, absolutely. Let me know. Maybe we can line something up. So Theo, there's a couple ways to be fast with Theo. I'm actually going to go to the next room and show you. And uh, it's not even something that I do super well. Um, but if you do, like, for example, like a wave dash and then grab Theo, he, you keep the momentum. You can see how fast it is. Uh, so same with all the dashes. So if you do just like a, a hyper dash, you can have a ton of momentum if you grab Theo, like, during as you do it. 
Yeah, I'm not very good at it, but that's one way to do it. I don't have like super good strats for a lot of these rooms. Only a few that I have strats that I do consistently. What you can do here is you can do like wall jumps with Theo and throw him. And you can always throw Theo like um These guys will also boost you when they're dying. You can throw Theo off the screen too, so at the end of the screen, instead of like having to carry him over, you can just throw him. It's faster. And the rest of it's just kind of like, um, just like practice. There's only, I think, one more, two more screens where I have an actual strat. Uh, this one you can um, throw Theo right there and then just do like a dash grab jump combo and it will launch you Just practice it uh, The way I do this room is I throw him here and kind of dash up there with him and then I throw dash here And just don't worry about the seekers like I said once you kind of know how they move they're never really a threat This room I do have a strat for and I recommend you do it the same way Oh, that wasn't even it. Get yourself up here, let the Seeker charge you, and then bounce off his head and hit the spring. Throw Theo. Get up here. And uh, that's it. And then what I try and do here is just time the throws and the dashes so that I'm dashing through these waves because they, like, knock you back. But if you're dashing, they don't. And then as soon as Theo hits the eyeball, you uh, hit the cutscene. Skip. Sent the Discord invite? Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Oppen. Nice, nice. I'm not going to remember that, but nice. Okay, what's next? Ah, Reflection. Another fun chapter with some cool skips. Skip the cutscene right out of the gate. Um, this is the chapter that introduces feather movement. If you're quick, you can avoid that second bubble and just go right to that bubble. I use the analog stick uh, for the feather movement and uh, in certain sections I use the analog stick for all my movement because it's like, if I'm having to like jump off a wall and hit a feather, it's just quicker than having to switch back and forth. What I do here is as soon as I skip the cutscene, I start dashing up and right. Uh, I think it's about three up and right dashes. So as soon as you skip cutscene, just start dashing up and right. Whoops. I did it wrong, but it gets you over here. You can kind of start swimming before. There is a way to um, skip this entirely, which is uh, it's called lake skip, where you kind of come over here and you can do like a spike. You can do like a, a wall jump like off of here, but I um, I don't really know how to do it. I haven't practiced it, but if you, uh, I mean, just go to like YouTube and look it up. It's called Lake Skip. But the way I do it is I hit this, get ready to dash. As soon as you see those pink spikes, just dash. Jump up here, grab this feather. This is all just done as intentional, as intended. Whoops. Nothing special about this. Spike jumps are hard. That one in particular. Uh, this one, if you can do it the fast way, is like that. So what you're doing is you're hitting the feather into um, into the Kevin block, and then like immediately, as fast as you can, landing on top of the Kevin block, and then just boosting yourself over. This is all pretty straightforward. Just ride the feathers. This part as well. Nothing special. Uh, we talked about this part earlier, where uh, once you learn neutral jumps, you can get yourself up through there. And there's a couple ways to do uh, this part. I'm going to show you the way that I do it, and I'll show you the way that I that I don't do it yet. I mean, it's pretty the way I do it's pretty much intended. Just hit Kevin, duck, get yourself up here, and then yeet yourself across. 
There is a way to do it where you can like move the block out of the way before Kevin even gets there. Um, which is kind of like that. You're kind of doing like an ultra. But it's not something that I'm really practiced with or can do consistently, obviously, as you can see. But again, if you look at the top runners, that's what they do. That was close, but you have to be faster. And you get like weird stuff like that where the block isn't there, but you still get squished against the block. <laughs> How did they get the name Kevin? Um, the guy who did the sound. His name was Kevin. All right, I'm gonna stop trying this soon. I promise. I like to show the cool strats, but I guess just go to YouTube if you want to see this one. It's above my pay grade. But then what I'll normally do is get on top and uh, like eat myself through here. Another trick here is you can touch the top and get your uh, jump back so that when you boost yourself here, you can use your jump. You want to take the top path. This is another level that has multiple options. You want to take the top path here. Extended uh, hyper here can get you over this. You don't have to hit that block. Wave dash there. This room is just two wave dashes. Extended wave dashes. You don't have to mess with any of the bumpers. Uh, this room next is just the uh, another extended. Or it doesn't even have to be extended. It can just be a regular. That's just... Um, Extended off the Kevin block. This is all just as intended. Whoops, this room I don't want to hyper into. This room's pretty straightforward, just use the blocks. You can throw a dash in here, right here. Downward, it's a little bit faster. Uh, this one, you can skip this first gem. Just use the feather to kind of boost yourself over. Okay, there's a strat here uh, to avoid the Kevin entirely. You can put yourself here, hold down and do a dash, and um, you can kind of go right under him. You don't have to worry about moving him out of the way. Okay, this is another one where pretty straightforward, just do the room as intended, as fast as possible. Different ways to do this room, but the way I do is I take the feather over, I fast fall through here, grab this feather, and then up and right. Whenever possible, uh, you want to be doing like a wave dash or a hyper dash or something because it's always faster. And as you get better with them, it just becomes part of your like natural movement. Like this next section, you can do a bunch of uh, dashes if you, yeah, it's pretty fast if you do it that way. This part hit the Kevin and then grab him. There's also a good route for this next section here. What you want to do is come over here, grab this wall, and you're going to line yourself up perfectly. Just fall straight down. And then come over here. This is actually, this platform here is actually a, a checkpoint. So if you die, um, you'll just spawn right here. But the idea you want to do here is, is fall off the ledge and fall straight down. And then just kind of move yourself over a little bit and you can just thread right through here. This water part, you can do um, you can do like uh, big jumps through there. This part is really tricky. I try to be very careful, dashing like only when I know it's completely safe because it's very easy to dash yourself like right into a uh, spike. Whew. I bought Celeste for my Switch so I can practice in bed. Very wise, very wise. The other wall lines are perfectly too, yeah. There's two like skips through the lineup, but I since I rerouted, I don't use the second like skip. There's a cool trick here. This part's as intended. Line yourself up here, and then right as the last one disappears, you'll see. You can just kind of yeet yourself. There's actually another strategy that I haven't completely, I have never done it before, but it's cool. You actually can like continue your momentum through this cutscene, and just like hit battle and I forget what it's called but it's super cool and I can't wait to learn it 
There are strats for some of these rooms, but this first one is just kind of like using ultras and, and, and uh, or not ultras, but just using hypers and stuff to keep your momentum after you hit battling. Bunny hops, like right there, a little bunny hop. Uh, I'll let you know when there's like an actual strategy involved. This is all just like using hops to do it quickly. Uh, this room too, nothing special. Just go fast. Same here. Actually, you can do a ultra or a hyper there, and like a, something there. You're not really doing the room as completely intended by doing it that way. Uh, this one is also straightforward. Same with this. Just fast fall when you have the chance. There's a couple rooms coming up that have some strats to them, and I'll show you. This one, you can just like leave this. As soon as you get here, jump out of the feather. That's pretty quick. This room is very normal. I promise there's strats coming up. Uh, this room has a strat, kind of. This last section here is tricky. If you can do it with good enough uh, timing, you can one cycle it. So you don't have to wait for Badalyn to uh, shoot her laser beam. You can just get through here. There you go. Uh, this room is, um, I think, also pretty straightforward. I don't think there's anything special that I do. If you want to see special stuff, go watch somebody faster. Just don't die forehead. This is your favorite room, Jazzy? That last one? Okay, so the strats kind of start here, where this cutscene ends. Um, as soon as this cutscene... Hey, what's up, Vetch? Are you, like, hey, did you just show up, Vetch, or have you been here? What's up, Vetch? Um, as soon as this cutscene ends, you want to do a, uh, a hyper dash and, like, a bunny hop, I think. And you kind of skip, like, all, this, all, this, all these blocks and stuff happening in the room. You just skip everything. This one has a cool skip. Actually, it's very easy to do. Remember that um, that dash where you just hold down and forward, and you then you do this one, hyper dash. Once you land on the moving block, as soon as the block moves, you hyper dash, and you'll see what happens. You just go right through this needle, thread the needle. It's like you don't even have to do anything. You just you just jump at the right time. Cool, right? Uh, this room, I think, has... Oh, yeah, this room does have a cool strat. Um, and the cool strat involves the second position Badalyn's in. Once you uh, tap her here and she shoots you back, you want to do a down-forward dash and land on this first moving platform that she's above now. Um, and then you're going to be able to kind of like... You do an extended... Uh, or not extended, you just do a, a hyper dash from that platform. And it's going to just kind of eat you through the whole stage. Jump off there and you're good. Uh, this room, I always do it kind of fast, but I don't really have a strategy. Just like, just be good and be fast, I guess. You can see how well that's working for me. And I, I really don't know a way to fast cycle this last part. I just wait for the platform. Uh, let's see, this one. I don't think there's anything I do that's particularly fast other than just fast falling whenever possible. And not dying is very important. Not dying is very fast. I'm just remembering uh, what's there. This room can be tricky. Don't die, that's all. Just don't die. You can see that the laser even has like a good bit of a... A good bit of like leniency on the laser. It doesn't like totally... The entire laser is not a hitbox, you know? 
So this part, again, just hit the cutscene, and now you're just kind of dashing up towards the end. I don't do anything special here other than um, wall jumps whenever possible and uh, just trying to do everything fast. Yeah, that's it. And then once you hit that, uh, the cutscene can be skipped as soon as she touches the ground. She's going to, like, fly up and then touch the ground. And as soon as you touch the ground, bam, your cutscene's over. Vetch writes down, be good. Be fast, be good. All right, and now we're going to Summit. There's some really cool um, tricks in Summit I'm excited to show you guys. I don't know if I'll be able to upload this whole video to YouTube. Can I upload like a three hour video to YouTube? Is that a thing? I do an extended hyper right there. Uh, so this part, um, I do a, a hyper into like a bunny hop and that gets you right there and you can just skip this whole like this whole part um, this one is pretty straightforward there are 10 and 12 hour play oh, okay cool doesn't YouTube prefer long videos nowadays I mean I'm down with that I'll upload this whole thing uh, so for this next room you can do again the same kind of idea. It's just a hyper into a bunny hop, and then you can um, you can skip this whole first spring. Just dash over it, um, and then with that other spring, um, if you hit the spring and dash upright as soon as you hit it, you kind of like cancel out the um, cancel out the spring, like shooting you the opposite direction. And you can just go right over. This next room, you can skip this whole gem part. Uh, and it's the same exact thing. It's just a uh, hyper into a bunny hop. And then uh, this room, you just want to hyper into this room. You're going to like fall down. Go straight across. You want to just stay low on this level. Don't uh, You don't have to climb too much. You can just kind of stay low. Once you get here, you guessed it. Hyper into bunny hop. And this part's really straightforward. Just always be dashing. I know Pornhub does. You can skip the cutscene as soon as she uh, splits into two. There's a trick, a trick for this uh, screen here. You know, normally you would hit this guy and come up here and hit this guy and come up here. If you just do a, a wall jump off this first one, you can just get right to the top. Um, not much here, just kind of do it as intended. This one I do well jumps. You can do, a, again, another extended. Oh, this is a, uh, this is a strat. So again, another um, hyper into bunny hop will launch you across here. Instead of coming up here and getting the gem, you can use the momentum, just dash up here a little bit faster. Again, you can avoid this spring. All you have to do is uh, dash up into this wall. It's a bit quicker. This room is just as intended. The next two rooms are just as intended, actually. The way I do many, there are faster ways to do all this stuff, by the way. If you watch the top speedrunners, TGH, 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 uh, Bye Bye, uh, Ultra Marlin. They have insane strats and they look like absolute robots playing this game in a good way. You can skip that if you just do again another hyper into bunny hop is like a really good thing to learn. You can also avoid having to like wait for this to come down and launch you up. What you do is you'll be coming up like this and then you kind of tap it. You can grab this side wall here and then just dash your way up a little bit faster. Blonde avocado in the house. What's up, BA? Welcome in. Did I just retry instead of... Whoops. That's okay. Shoutouts to BA. What are you playing? Are you playing, uh, what are you playing today, BA? Are you streaming tonight? I know you've been playing the uh, Division, right? So yeah, make sure you skip the cutscene after she splits into two, guys. Very important. You don't want to be retrying screens. 
All right. Um, so for this guy, I think this is pretty straightforward. Nothing tricky. Okay, this room, um, it's really easy. All you do is after you hit the springboard, you're just going to dash up right, up left, up right. As soon as you exit the bubble, right? So watch. Whoops. See, that gets you all the way to the top. Just up right, up left, up right, straight left, straight up. This room, there's a cool uh, pattern that I use. You get this one first. You dash down through the bottom left corner of this bubble. Just kind of clip it, and it's going to allow you to, as you can see, like, you get your dashes back. And then you can go straight. You can grab the bottom one and straight up to the top one. And then you can dash down here and finish the room. Uh, this one I do pretty straightforward, except you don't have to hit that spring. You can just dash over here. I do hit this spring. You also can skip it, but I'm not very good at it. Now, this is something I saw Smoke do. And um, it's, it's, just different, it's just different routing. I think this is the way that I used to do it, and this is the way I think a lot of people do it. Um, but it's actually, I think, faster to just go up here. And then you can um, climb this section. And you end up in the same place. It's just a little bit faster way to get there. This one's all pretty straightforward. Uh, this one, there's a small like optimization here. When you come out of this bubble, you can fall below this uh, pillar here. You fall below the pillar and then just dash up and over. This one, um, this is the route. No stream tonight, stream yesterday, nice. Retrack cutscene. Playing Division 2 these days, nice. Okay, so this room, um, just dash. Just regular dashes. Same here. Um, I, I like to go under this. It's easier than going over. So you just go like that. There's a couple strats coming up. Again, just using like the... Um, I would say for this next room. Again, it's something that you're going to want to practice a lot because you do it all the time. You do a um, hyper into a bunny hop. And this is a room where I used to get stuck all the time. Trying to time this out properly and dash into a meatball. But if you do a hyper into a bunny hop, up right dash, up down right dash, pretty much is the same every time. So again, hyper, bunny hop, up right dash, down right dash. This room, you do the same thing. Hyper, bunny hop. It's going to take you right up here. Another hyper. Or you can do that, that's fine. But a hyper and a dash will take you right through that other meatball part. Right here, hyper, dash forward. Up and over this. Up here. Watch for that meatball. Whoop. Okay, we're good. Uh, this room is pretty easy. I just kind of like fall through here and then just use your dashes to get through here. Double dash up through there. Uh, this next room is uh, there's a cool strat. Take some practice. You're going to eat those meatballs. The donuts just made me hungrier. So what you can do in this room is starting from this screen is you're going to do that uh, extended hyper dash into like an ultra, ultra down to this platform, come over here. Yeah, just do like that. It's fine, guys. See what I did? Just do that. You're basically like dashing down into this and then again down into this or into that other one. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sorry. This is an awesome tutorial, right? It's basically... Uh, a hyper dash here into an ultra. Once you're gonna ultra down to this platform and do a do a wave dash off of this platform. So ultra to this platform and wave dash off of it. 
Dash over twice and up twice. And you're gonna get pretty fast through this room. That's it. Easy, right? Um, there's a kind of a um, an alternate route here. Instead of going this way, Smoke, um, you can just down dash through here. And then, but you do have to be comfortable with the, again, the extended hyper. You do an extended hyper here, it's going to take you through here. And then you can just kind of make your way uh, through this through this section, which is where you would have ended up anyway. And then you got this part. Which can be kind of a pain, but just keep your eye on the balls. Keep your eye on the prize here. And you'll be fine. Don't touch any balls. That's all. Looks like you're eating the meatballs. Face first. All right, 2,000 meters. Not a whole lot here. Uh, there is something right here, though. Uh, the usual route is to go to the right, but you can kind of use the screen exploit here and get yourself up here. Uh, and then however you want to do this room is fine, but this is the way I do it. And then you can just kind of try and get through here as fast as you can. I don't do anything special here. There is a strat for this room, but I don't, I haven't practiced it. But you can like yeet yourself off of this moving platform and uh, skip a bunch of stuff. I mean, I'll try it. I think I kind of remember how to do it. I know you like put yourself here, and then you want to do like a um, extended hyper through there. I think. I think that's it. You just got to get the um, timing because you want to get both your dashes back. I think I'm just not allowing enough time to get the uh, extended. There you go. And then uh, once you get here, it's like a wall jump or something. You can wall jump. Yeah, I'm not very practiced with this one. So you can just do this room as intended. It's uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna lose you a ton of time. The important thing is just to do it without dying. But again, it's like this is the, um, this is like the ever like important question. Like, do you go for the fast strat and risk messing up like three times, and then uh, it would have been faster just to do it the intended way, or do you just do it, uh, do it anyway? There you go, that's how it's done. Uh, this is an auto-scroller, so there's not much you can do other than not die. There's some stuff towards the top where I think you can like... You can get up, you can get up to the top a little bit quicker. But I don't do it that way, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try it. But there's a way to kind of skip the very end of this auto-scroller. By using like wall jumps and stuff. Then you want to just come up through here. This part is just normal, as intended. You can do an extended here and uh, skip some of this stuff. And then you can uh, use your dash to get ahead of that a little bit. Nothing really special here. Just go fast forehead. You can do uh, an extended here. You don't have to wait for that um, block. There we go. Hey, Blurred Bay. What's up, Blur? Welcome in. Shout-outs to Blur Bay. 
Tell me you touched the purple, like four purple balls. Oh, you can touch the purple balls. At a certain point, the experience of those failures means eventually getting the difficult strats consistently. Yeah, it's very true. It makes you want to, uh, it makes you want to execute it properly next time. You can do like a dash out of these bubbles. It's a little bit faster. Um, there's a strat here where instead of like, like doing this and riding it over and all that, you can just uh, jump here uh, without a dash. And you can grab this and fall down and then dash a little bit quicker. Um, here you can use the moving platform to get yourself across. And what I normally do here is um, just get my... There's faster ways to do this as well, but this is how I do it normally. By uh, dashing into stuff, yeah. Up through here. And then just dash twice. Oh, this is a cool strat coming up here. So normally the way you, you do this is you come down here, you fall down, you get the bubble, you go back up. We can use the... Uh, whoops. We can use the exploit that I showed you guys before by uh, spike jumping. Uh, right up here. Just take some practice. Take a death as soon as you grab the key and you'll spawn down here. Can you save this whole stream as a highlight? Oh yeah, I'm gonna save. I'll probably put it on YouTube. Yeah, I don't understand that one, Smoke. It's not that hard. You really just have to uh, practice it. Um, I can show you again, actually. So what you do is you want to get yourself like to the... Climb all the way up to the very top. Just hold the wall and climb. And then you want to jump. Just let go of everything and press jump. And you should jump straight up. And then um, if you jump again... At like the highest point of the wall... You see how she jumps over and hits that spike? This is where it's good to have two jump buttons right next to each other. I'm going to hit this and then very quickly hit the next jump button. Anytime now. There we go. That's what it looks like when you get it. Just takes a couple tries, but it's, again, it's one of those things that's faster to try a couple times and then you just dash up twice. Um... Try a couple times and fail than it is to do it the intended way. It just takes practice. It's really not that tough, though. Uh, let's see. This one. Just come over here. You don't need that other gem. Do an extended hyper off of this, and you don't have to... Um, you don't have to mess with any of the other platforms. This is another area that's just very straightforward. Uh, what I do here is an extended hyper again gonna put me over here and you don't have to really mess with any of this stuff um, there's a couple strats for this room hey what's up uh, Sonic what's up Sonic welcome in man great to see you Sonic obviously Celeste aficionado two jump buttons help for this you don't need to hold any direction it's just too neutral yep uh, so this room you can do the intended way or the fun way which is where you uh, skip the uh, skip the buttons. Because they conveniently left enough room here for you to do so. This room, I'm trying to think if there's anything... Like, uh... I don't know, just extended hyper there, I guess, is the only real strat. Once you get up here... Um, you can get on top of this, um, oh, I messed up, but I'll show you again. If you get on top of that, on the right side there, it'll save you a little bit of time. Because you can, like, jump early. Okay. No problem. It's actually not something that I normally do in my run, which is why I'm dying. But it's not that hard, and I feel like um, I want to show you guys what it looks like. There we go. Not a big time save. 
Uh, but it's a big time loss if you mess it up, so... It's something you want to weigh out on your own. I don't have a ton of strats other than, like, wall jumping as much as you can. Uh, for this last section, there's a few areas where there's strats. And, um... Again, I'm just kind of showing you, like, the way I play this game. It's definitely not the fastest way to do it. Like I said, my best, uh, time is on the... Is on the timer there, 4218. It's not considered, like, an elite time or anything. There's a trick here I know you can do, but I've I've never actually done it. But you can kind of do like a wall jump, like um, off of something over here, and you can make it up there. But um, I've never done it. I've just seen it done. So I just do it kind of the intended way. But it is faster to do uh, wall jumps whenever possible, like I said. Otherwise, this is all just kind of normal stuff. Nothing magic. If you want to see magic, I recommend, again, going to, like, a, a good speedrunner's channel. Check out their strats. There's some absolutely crazy stuff you can do in this game. And uh, Summit is probably, like, my slowest level. So it's not the best for me to showcase strats. But um, if your goal is just sub one hour or something like that, sub-50, you don't have to go extremely fast at everything you do. It's more important just to go slow and steady. This part, you just spam dashing up. If this part ever gave you trouble, all you gotta do is spam up dash. Do a regular wall jump off the first wall and then wall bounce on a wall blocked by the clouds after that, which is why it can be tricky. You literally can't see what you're wall bouncing off of. Yeah, that's it, and I've seen um, in like debug mode, you can show the um, you can show like the hitboxes for stuff, so you can actually see where it is. Um, but yeah, it's completely blind like normally because there's clouds in front of it. This part, there's really nothing special. Just do wall jumps whenever possible. Extended hyper whenever possible. And this stuff gives uh, new players like a lot of trouble. Um, but once you've done it like a bunch of times, it's just like muscle memory. This is the route I take for these keys. I grab this one first, second one there. You can hit the spike and get the last one. And then just make sure you're lined up properly for that last double jump up because you can dash into those spikes. Um, this one, I just do a wall jump here grab this. You can do like a neutral jump there and you can uh, skip that skip having to come over here and grab this gem uh, just by throwing a neutral jump down here. Uh, which I would show you again. But uh, you saw it. You saw it, right guys? Matt the Man, most important thing about Summit is that you remember to jam out to the sick music. You are right, Matt the Man. Dashing into those number 13 spikes. This part, um, just normal stuff. Nothing special. Just go fast, Chief. You can skip this uh, flag over there if you're feeling, if you're feeling good. You can neutral jump if you get kind of trapped because the wind is going to push you up. You can skip a cloud here if you just go straight up. Like the, normally you'd bounce off that cloud, you can double jump up here and hit that one instead. Uh, what else? This is all pretty straightforward, I think. Up and over here. Hey, Blurg, babe, remember how long this took you? <laughs> remember, Blurg? Remember? I was here watching you. I'm so proud of you though, Blurg, honestly. Such persistence. Such strength of will. And I'm sure it took me like just as long like when I was doing it the first time. I mean, not that long, but you know what I mean. Kinda long. Uh, and that's it, guys. I don't really have any uh, stress for this part, but again, 
My recommendation if you're running this game and you want to get faster is watch other speedrunners. Go to speedrun.com, find somebody who's got a target speed that you want to hit, um, and uh, learn. Watch and learn. That's it. That's Celeste. <laughs> Majama, I started to run too. Just push the knife in harder, Majama. Push the knife in harder. Not that long, but kind of long. Whew. All right. Blur, I love you. With all my heart. And I love this game, and I'm so excited whenever anybody wants to play it. And people are always saying the same thing. They're like, oh, man, how can you, like, doesn't this drive you crazy to watch this? Watch somebody play it the first time through and just, like, not know where they're going and not know what to do and struggle. And it's like, no, I love watching that. I love watching people experience it for the first time because it takes me back to my first time, you know? This game is amazing, and um, I'm not tired of it yet. I've, I've, now, I've always said that I'm going to keep running it as long as it's fun. And who knows, tomorrow I might put it down forever. I mean, I, I might get a sub 40 and say, you know what, I'm good. Or I might play it for the next five years. Who knows? As long as it's fun, I'm just going to keep it going. So that's it. Whoa, look at that. Look at that sweet berry pie. That looks tasty. 124 berries in that pie. Right now, you're my target speed. You're my target, Matt. Ooh, woo. The good ending. I wonder, I don't know what, like, max... I wonder what if it, there's anything like the max berry pie. If that looks different. I don't know. Only 12,000 deaths, too. That's pretty good. Nothing like smokes pie. A pie of 12,000 skulls. Palm top pies are for suckers. Well, thanks for being here, guys. I had so much fun. I was really looking forward to this stream. Um, just kind of doing like a tutorial speed run stream. And I'm actually not going to be around. I'm actually traveling for work. So there's not going to be any weekend streams, guys. I'm sorry to say, this weekend. There's not even going to be a Tuesday stream. Uh, so that's why I thought it was really important just to come in and play some Celeste because I normally play on the weekends. And um, we're not going to get to play this weekend. So I guess probably next um, next Thursday we'll pick back up with um, Dark Souls. Probably get back into Dark Souls next Thursday. What just happened? What just happened? Oh, we're good. Uh, pajama, how am I? How do I set up for surprise mail? I mean, I think you get bonus uh, points for uh, for subbing people, Jazzy. Just saying. I like zoomed out. I like zoomed out my chat somehow. Like super. I don't know what I did. It's really weird and I don't like it at all. How did I do that? Now I can't read it. It's super small. On my laptop. This is terrible. This is terrible. Thank you, Palm Top. I appreciate the good luck. We're going to raid uh, in a second here. So I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, for the raid, please join me. Um, should we do like a... Uh, should we do like a raid, a raid call? recommend a friendo uh jazzy i uh i already betrothed my raid to someone tonight um but please um put their names in my dms put their name in my dms and then uh next time we'll, we'll give them a raid for sure if it's somebody i'm if it's somebody i don't follow i mean I'll, I'll follow them yeah just dm me their name i'll try to get some sweet pbs in my own my next thursday yes matt the man you will get it i have faith just keep working it. Just keep on working it and you will get it. I promise. Uh, let's see, what time is it? 
859, okay. Perfect. Perfect. You follow them, I think? They're trying to reach affiliate? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, just let me know who it is. PTT knows. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to raid our good friend Quad Laser. I always try and raid him. He always he goes live at 9 o'clock, which is perfect. But then, like, whenever I go to do it, he, like, hasn't, he hasn't gone live yet. And I always end up raiding someone else and it feels bad, man. Um, I'm trying to raid from my phone. Is it working or no? Is it working? Hello? Are we raiding? Oh yeah, we're good. It says raid now. I added you on uh, Discord, Majama. Okay, good. It's working, it's working. Okay, guys. Have a beautiful rest of your night. Have a great weekend. I'll be around Twitch even though I'm traveling. I love you all, and as always, Majama stay.